No, I'm good, thank you. Keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Jason, Jason, Jason. Good day. How's it going, everybody? Well, I sound funny. But then again, I was born in a place where we sound funny, you sound funny to us. You sound louder than, than we do, which is weird because I'm louder than you are. Which means I was supposed to be here because I'm too loud and obnoxious for Australia. Because they're all shy and timid. Like a little Joey in its pouch. But America, you know, you guys are like, uh, Eagles and shit in your face. I saw a fucking eagle. Somebody sent me a video of an eagle that had just killed a small wolf or a fox. And he fucking lived. He was holding his head with his claws. And the dude was next to him going, look at that. And he held the wolf's head. He was like. And he pounded the head on the ground. And then he was all. Jeep, jeep. Jeep, jeep. With his chest out like. Oh. Like human. Oh. Like he fucking. Claimed victory and death. Yeah, you're fired up. Well, it's Friday. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, yeah what was it? Uh, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger in "I'm Gonna Fight You, Alien Guy." I've had enough. You killed my fucking Cherokee guy. Well, I'm not even sure. I feel like Cherokee guy killed himself. I don't remember the name of that movie. I was really confused by that because Cherokee guy kind of like fucking called it the whole time, and then he cut his chest open. Uh, uh what? He did? Did he? Right, right, but right, and he cut his chest open with the knife first, right? Pretty cool. He ran the blade across his chest. And then, yeah, he died. I, I assume. I, I mean, unless he got thrown to the side and now he still lives in this jungle today. They don't really cover that. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. That too. Yeah. Great to have you back. Yeah, great to be back. You bounce back from AIDS as well. A lot of people are doing that on the show. Yeah. Yeah, I bounced right back from AIDS. I think I bounced back from AIDS twice so far this year. Whew. Not a lot of people can say that. I know, right? It's been a big, big effort for me. That's once more than Magic Johnson. Yeah, yeah, and I'm beating him. Well, not many people can say that. Not many people can say they're beating him. You mm -hmm. just did. I did. Fucking knocked him down. So you were uh, hanging out with 
Children? Teenagers. High school kids, dude. Right, that's yeah. how you cover it. Do yeah. you know that, it, you, know that uh, you should have gone to this school in uh, East LA the other day? Why? Because a 15-year-old girl shot a 15-year-old kid at school. Yeah. I'm like, man. School shootings are tough, man. It's like... I didn't know 15-year-olds. Do you know that they're, they're down from the 90s? It's not like it's a, it's a, it's a new mm. thing, but it's there's already been like... 13 incidents or 12 incidents so far this year. Yes. 2018. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's a big number. Yes. Some accidents, some not, some... That's why you have to uh, be there for your children and go through. I'm dealing with some stuff too with my kids. I just have to be there and and that's it. Ride ride through it with them, you know? Yeah. That's kind of... You know, I feel like when you're... Especially when you're younger, you... Uh, and, I, and I feel like it would be worse with a girl because I feel like you gather more intelligence quicker when you're a lady, and then but you still have all these emotions. And I feel like you have a, it might many might even have a little more than a guy at that age. And I, I, I would, you know, at my most emotional state, and also, I mean, all that pressure. I would it would be it would be tough. I feel like watching my daughter grow up. I feel like it's tough watching her watch the world and and try to keep up realize that there's a bunch of people that are trying to keep up and you know when to step in there it seems stressful for sure it worries me just watching what she has to go through because everyone's so critical you know yeah that's why we need to um you know build a better foundation for them and 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 be there and support like the next generation and that's kind of like what we're trying to do Mm. and go to nascar and go to Winter X Games? Did that happen? Yeah, yeah, I was there all last week. That's why you oh, missed really? me. Yeah, it's been and gone, been and gone. Well, it was missed... great. Was it? Yeah, and it was the the best like half pipe, like the gnarliest half pipe competition that's ever been down. And Sean <laughs> decided to step out, and uh, Hume, Hume, the young Japanese kid, he won. Scotty James, Australian, uh, second. And why did Sean step down? He. I, I don't know. Did you go in another contest? No, 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 no. So the Olympic qualifiers has happened. The Olympics is next week or in two weeks or whatnot. They yeah. leave or they leave. So oh, he's saving it for that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. If I was him, I would have competed because it's, that's the highest level competition. You've been in qualifiers. You haven't been in a uh, in in uh, that situation where all the countries are together. Um, you know, and, and they, he got scored a perfect hundred, which I don't agree with. On the Who last did? event he went in, oh, okay. no, 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 Sean. The last event he went in, so I could see him not wanting to compete again until the Olympics after you've done a perfect score. I don't get the perfect score thing. Yep. Fair I enough. never like it in a competitor when it makes sense for them to not compete. Yeah. Listen, I, I do. Feel like that's like bad juju on a on a competitor. Listen, I do understand because the Olympics is only a few a few weeks out, and this will be the last time he competes at the Olympics. And the last Olympics he went to, he didn't get a medal, and he's got two golds before then. Okay. So I can see the. He's saving it. Saving it. Can't get hurt. He's not risking it. Right. And one of our guys, Yuri, uh, Swiss guy who won the last Olympics, smashed his face open, broken nose, and now he has to go through. He will fly to Korea, but they will have to put him through. The doctors will have to okay him over there. So I, I do get the risk that you take, but it, it would have been cool to, um, because not that I'm dissing the Olympics or anything, but like the X Games and Gunny and the guy, uh, the uh, snow tech, snow park technology guys that make that. It's like the best half pipe in the world at X Games. Like the Olympics will never be as good as a half pipe. What? Why don't they hire those guys? Well, I, I think they do. I think it's just. Uh, uh, it's weird. Well, they don't what, put as much effort in. For well, no, Olympics. it's not that they don't put much as much effort in, and and I don't think those guys could come to an actual agreement. Right, that's more like. Right, and and it's always in it like the Olympics this year are in Korea. All I you know, South was... Korea. Like South Korea has has never had. Last year or th- two years ago, they built their first pipe. They say it's good. The re- year before then, it's in Russia. They, it's always in different weird All places. All I saw was old dudes riding a dirt bike up the middle of the ramp. What did you think of that? I thought it was pretty stupid, but at so, the same time, I also thought, well, there's my other opportunity to get a medal at X Games. Well, the reason that is Harley Davidson. Well, That's ha- what you need. Well, Harley Davidson's a big sponsor of Summer X Games, and they tried to figure out a way for Harley to be a part of this X Games, so they figured after the half pipe. Harley could then have a competition that runs up the pipe. They've been trying to figure it out. They like were thinking about having it on an ice track and doing a circle track, and then that was too far away. And circles are lame. Don't be so basic. Mix it up. So Harley's trying to figure something out so they can, you know, be a part of the Winter X Games. Can just Harley, like Harley or not Harley, can anybody go like actually off the walls going down the pipe? 
on a motorbike. Yeah. Well, BMX guy did it. Uh, a guy did it last year. They, and can, jumped... kind, they can kind of do it, Michael. No, a BMX guy got like a 10 foot air. Yes, kind of do it. Uh, dude, there's a moto dude that can do ha- they, I half mean, bike yeah. back to back, but it's not exactly it. Yeah. You know? And then the snow bikes. Snow bikes are cool. Yeah, the snow bikes. I'm down for snow bikes. <laughs> And they should just have snow bike like motocross though. I don't. I. I you know. So I this guy's Aussie that wins. Yeah. And then Jacko. And then Jacko got second. Rob Wait, Adelberg. did he just take off with one arm on the bike? I just don't care about this shit, dude. It's just trampoline jokes to me. I mean, I don't know. It's cool. And it's more of a racer guy. I wonder how the general public is. Do they like racing or do they like the wiggle toe thing more? Which one is better, you know? I think but the like, racing. A racing is like if you don't know anything about moto, it's, it's more of a storytelling thing there. It's more, you know, it's, unless it's just like the one dude. Cause well, it's they, cool. You saw Poto competed, right? It's fucking embarrassing. Like if I'm a, 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 a just a spectator, which I am, I'm like, man, there's nothing to it. You, you saw know, B- like, Villa Poto competed in the snow bikes. Oh yeah! Wait, just going up the hill? No, he no the race, the snow bikes, the like like the one on snow. Wait, they had a race with the yeah with the snow bikes. Oh, well, that's see that I didn't know that. I would have watched that. No, he competed. See, I didn't get. No one told me. We need all I got. All we I need hill climb. We need. We need no, hill. no, because it was the hill climb. I'm not watching. I watched the hill climb. We need to get Poto on the phone. Poto's trying <laughs> to get on the show. He's trying to book himself. I get told. He wants on. Wow, one guy won this race by a lot. Right, and then you should see that guy goes up another guy that wins by a lot too. It's pretty interesting. And just beside the point, it's two guys going up a hill. I'm not saying it's not hard or any of that. I'm just saying, um, you know, you've got this TV show, you got people watching, and you're just sort of like whipping shit up. You know, like the let me see the race. I want to see because it was there an it actual is. moto race. Okay, but look, the actual moto race looks like it's got to the point where it's just. Dudes by themselves, you know. I, to me, I can already tell just by watching this that they had too many laps. Because it's just, it's just everybody is completely spread out. This looks like fucking practice. This is stupid. Like it's got to be neck and neck. You got to tell a story. Who is that? Is that McGrath? No. Are you sure? No, McGrath wasn't out there. Okay. Poto was out there. Josh Hill was competing. Axel. Oh, oh. oh Axel's in it monster dick lickers he just gets to be in it anyway um it just uh, what about if it was more like five laps you know so then they didn't get so because I'm just I don't even know it's fucking stupid I mean I'm just talking about to watch it if you don't know if you want to pull people in to watch it uh you know I mean I'm really I see I see Unexperienced eyes because I'm unexperienced at this, at this point because I don't pay attention anymore and I feel like yeah okay dude does the turn that's cool and he does the jump cool I think it's got but legs it's just like all I think nobody's it's... racing anybody he's miles ahead end the race <coughs> you know I want to see neck and neck and then next neck and neck I think people as speaking as the the real casual viewer people want to see like moments yeah they want to see like wow moments yeah and this does not have. Wow. Right, it looks like practice. It looks like you're at the track having fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I mean, you got to evolve with with what's going on with, especially with the kids, what they're into, the 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 attention span. Uh, twenty minutes is a, is a, is a joke, and, you know, because it's very rare that you get twenty minutes where it's neck and neck for anybody. When it happens, it's really awesome. But if you made it five laps, it'd be neck and neck. So you said it was the best half pipe snowboard thing ever. <laughs> How many twisty loos did they do this time? They do a lot of twisty loos, Michael. Did they do any 180s? Because they only yeah. did one, a one 180. No, no, no. Now there's no rules on that. You don't even have to do a straight air. But Scotty James, the Australian, at the <laughs> second to last hit, does like a big backside, like it's like a backside 180 into yeah. like a switch. Double cork 1440. Right, I switch fucking to. But he makes it look good, the backside 180. It looks fucking sick. And he okay. blows it like 18 feet out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So here's the kid that won. This is a different Jeff. Wasn't there another Japanese guy who was kicking ass a couple of years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 old now. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Shit, looks fucking stupid. I mean, that's cool. Like, if I'm pumped for that little kid, like, he's spinning around. We. He probably sees it all slow and shit. He's probably having a ball. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck about watching it. It's like, that's a fucking big half pipe, man. Like, dude, something... I don't know. 
Yeah, no, well, I, I enjoy it. I've been going there for 17 years now. It's kind of crazy. I met you there for the first time when I was like 14. You were drunk, passed out on the floor. Well, then you didn't meet me. Because I didn't meet you. I saw you. Right. I've got to bring that up all the time. I've done other stuff. Standing up and shit. But um, no, it was, it, I, I enjoy X Games out in Aspen. It's a big week for Monster and, and, and the sales crew and everybody out there. So it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of work for me, but it's good. Enjoy it. Mm. What was the highlight of the entire X Games? Um, the athletically, hi- athletically, yeah, not like boobies or shots or anything. Um, wait, did, you hung out? No, well, those guys came out. We hired this guy. We hired Black Bear to perform our party, and then he brought Riff Raff out there. So we had Riff Raff and Black Bear and Marshmallow Man. There was a lot of people out Who's there. Who's Black Bear? Oh, you had Marshmallow Man too? Yeah. Wait, who's Marshmallow party? Man? <laughs> what the fuck? I want to hang out with Black Bear and Marshmallow Man. They sound cool. I mean, I want to hang out all night, but I'll hang out a little bit. Right. Who's Black Bear? That's Black Is that Black Bear? Bear? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to hang out with Black yeah, Bear. I never want to meet Black Bear in my whole entire oh, life. Oh, shit. You got double earring? You know what's going on? Anyway. And who's that? Oh, that's Black Bear. No, that's who's, Black Bear. Where's, where's the Marshmallow? <coughs> Marshmallow, that's close enough for the spelling, that'll work. Marshmallow DJ? Whoa! No, 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 no. is that him? Yeah, oh. that's him. Okay. Whoa, it's a dude that has like a light marshmallow on his head? Yeah, it's and a, he DJs? He, he's pretty, very good at it too. He has like three Whoa. number one singles right and now. And he dabs. He does dabs. So you know it's good. I saw some kid in the schoolyard the other day shining his mom that he would ask her for a high five and when she would go to give him the high five, he would dab to get his hand away from her. Yes. Like, so help me God if my child ever tries to fucking dab. He will. Psych me out. I know. I He'll dab you. He's going to. He'll dab. My kid's dabbing me all the time. Gonna have, wonder what he's going to have for dinner that day. See, that's what you were saying yesterday. There's no point to have a flamethrower. What about when your kid dabs at you? There you go. What's this, How is that the same? <laughs> what do you mean? How is it? What do you mean how is that the same? If your kid dabs at you, yeah. you shoot, oh, you him, shoot with him with the flamethrower. Flame yeah. It's a little extreme. Thank God I had. You're thank God I had that flamethrower. <laughs> you see, there's a my kid rollerbladed at one point, Michael. So it can all happen, you know. It, sure, it only lasted an hour, but oh no, 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 it still no, happened. Oh, no. well, my kid will dab. My kid will do all kinds of incredibly lame. They stuff. all do I'm it. Just saying that I don't think he's gonna. He's not gonna dab shine his dad, and and keep rolling with that. Oh, like back to back dab shines. Like he's it's gonna be clear to him once he does it once because you you get a here's the difference here's the yeah, similarity you, you, don't, you don't know there's anything wrong with it do it to me once but but th- th- try doing his daughter shit. dabs no, me all the time yeah, but you you look at you you fucking dabaholic <laughs> uh, Michael you and I both would agree yeah. I feel like if my son because I think in my I think my son's done that to me like I was just on this couch and I'm like really and my um facial my expression my like he caught what I thought of that mm-hmm. and never did it to me again. Yeah. I think other people would go, oh, that's hilarious. You're yeah. doing a new dance and ducking a high five and then now your kid's dab ducking you all day. When Tiger dab ducked me, I was like, okay, you're basically not my son. And then I went back to watching TV and he was like, right. okay, I'm not going to dab. That's the duck. secret to all this. I'm not saying it works 100% of the time, but kids on a biological level like crave our approval. So that's right. You, so when you withhold your love from them, it's actually a very effective tool. That's right. I do it all the time. Yeah, I'm already starting that. Yep. We're My son, to, go ahead. No, we're going to a glitter ball tonight. A glitter ball? Yeah. Actually sounds fun. It's the social event of the season. You want to come? Uh, Bring Marshmallow Man. He'll go over great at the glitter ball. Yeah, he would. Fucking, he uh, would. He it's, would. It's, it's I a, feel it's like a gl- black light three-hour dance spectacular for right. six-year-olds. Yeah, I was going to say, glitter ball's a trap, dude. Don't go. Yeah, no, I'm not going. It's, sounds it's, scary. Yeah, it's a rave for people who are under 10. For six hours? No, for six-year-olds. Three, three, oh. three hours, though. He actually had a little peep song that he played like the end of his set that yeah, was pretty cool. I like Marshmallow cool. Man. I get it. I Wait, that. do you hang out with Marshmallow Man and he has the fucking helmet on? No, I I, 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 know, the, I know the guy without the helmet. Oh, right. Yeah, I like him better with the helmet. He looks, like, it... the, he looks like the guy from uh, uh, Big Bang Theory without it. I thought there was already DJs that had a helmet on. Well, Dead Mouse, but Dead Mouse is kind of 10 Dif- years ago. Different helmet. Different helmet. He had the Mickey Mouse ears and then he just kind of Gave up on putting the helmet on. <laughs> I can see that. It's tough, man. Slipknot, don't think that they don't every single time backstage before they go out there go, oh, why did we do this? Today? And that's not actually him. That's Tiesto in the marshmallow outfit. No one's actually ever seen the guy. Oh, but you God, have... that's original. What? I'm just... I thought those... Didn't those Mad Mouse guys do that as well? Yeah, Daft Punk did that. 
I mean, it obviously worked. That's just so basic. Oh, yeah, there's Marshmallow Man dabbing. <laughs> Told you. Jesus Christ. Dingo. You guys Respect are, yourself and get some real friends. You guys are just negative uh, Nancys over here. He's no, a man in a marshmallow <laughs> head. He's dabbing. It could be a not. We could be he's negative mul- Nancys. We also could be realists. He's a multi-millionaire. You know? He's like well, crossing what's trade. What's wrong with that? That's like saying you're fucking... Hey, Hitler was a millionaire. <laughs> what the fuck? More proof that money is wasted <laughs> yeah. on healthy. What the fuck is that? I'm millionaire. just saying he's, he's, a su- on there. he's a successful guy. Like, fuck. So was Hitler again. Oh, my God. Why do you have to bring Hitler into it? Because I'm just you're pointing out shit that doesn't mean it. Anything. No, you guys are just hating on everything that I'm we've talked about today. You guys have not been like positive in one fucking thing we've talked about today. Just everything. I disagree entirely. We, yeah. were, we were 100 percent backing Marshmallow Man. Yeah. Found out he dabbed. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I do. I, but I, no, that's not true. I wasn't backing him at all. Oh, I like him. Yeah. So you guys back. don't like a lot of the people I hang out with. I fucking get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being negative, no, not. Nancy, and if getting you were out sorry, there. Sorry, you wouldn't hang out with them. You love them. <laughs> And that's cool, man. Yeah, you said you hang out with with fake friends. You know how I know this guy? We have the same lawyer. Yeah, so you don't really give a fuck about him. (laughs) He doesn't give a fuck about you. I do like him. I get how this whole big like that's how you play the game because someone overhears it. That's why I could be the greatest fucking person in the world on the radio. It's never going to work for me because I keep telling everybody they suck. Right. You always cover your tracks by saying Marshmallow Man's a great guy. You don't even know Marshmallow Man. You saw him like three times on a bus, probably. No, I do know him. You you got his phone number? I do. Oh. Wait, do you guys hang out? Yeah. Wait. You feel like you know the real Marshmallow? Lunch and shit? Have you had a lunch with him and you? I have. Right, we're not friends anymore. You and him met and had lunch. You and Marshmallow Man. What are you... Answer the question. Did you and Marshmallow Man... Hang on. No, 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 no. no. On a date? no why? No, why would I say meet on a date? Did you guys meet up by yourselves? I know the fucking guy. I don't know what you're trying to say right now. I'm just asking the question. I don't see why it has to be like treated like this. I think this. he's just trying to find out how close you guys are. Yeah. I'm I mean, close with him. Have you or have you not gone on a date with him? I've never gone on a date with him. Just you and him met up. Yeah, I've hung out with the guy without his helmet on. Right, but you never... You were like, hey, let's do lunch, you and, you and Marshmallow. Right? No, I never said right. let's do... Let's have do... you and Marshmallow ever gone to the mall and like gone shopping? I don't know what you're getting at right now. I'm just asking questions. It's a radio show. The fucking why are you getting so touchy? Well, no, no, no. Did he have gonna... a conversation with you where he said, "Look, dude, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I do have to be clear. You can never reveal my true identity." I never would. I never would because I respect it. Did you tell him that? I, no, no. I, he I, just I knew. I hang out. Yeah. In your eye. Because I feel like if I'm Kiss in 1975, I've got to have that conversation with new friends. No, I've never had that conversation with him. I work with, we work with the same attorney, and we have in the same circle. Have a lot of people that work in the same circle. So, right. On a on a on a business level, I fuck with it very hard, and I would not. Nope. It's his real name. Yep. What's it? What? What's his? Name? <laughs> <laughs> I care. Fluff R. Nutter. <laughs> Sorry. So, he's a great guy, and he's a mysterious guy, and that's it. That's cool. Nothing. I mean, like I just. Sorry. Dingo for pointing out that I because I don't really know DJs you know and I, I feel like they're all ass clowns well he's not a DJ way. he's a producer and he has songs with anyone but, from but, like Selena Gomez me, to Little his name Beast. is DJ Marshmallow <laughs> so Marshmallow I'm gonna have to fucking argue and, uh, okay. about that he I'm is just, a fucking DJ okay? and he's a very successful producer okay what? once you start producing pop people that fucking big I think it can like transcend and he's a very successful person in music Right, but he's still a DJ. 1,000%. Right. Oh, this is a solo jam from Marshmallow? Is this actually him or is it a stunt Marshmallow? Who knows? Can't you tell by his body language? Or do you not know him that well? I don't know him that well. <laughs> Who pissed thing go off? Stop playing it! What the fuck? God! Worst shit ever. That's not even him. Look, Michael, he was black. Was he? I don't oh, maybe think. They're doing that is thing. he black, Dingo? Maybe, maybe they're doing the KFC thing with the, the Can you tell us that? Yeah. <laughs> what? 
Is he actually? I mean, this I, you're gonna think this is insulting too, but like I don't think any of it's insulting. Well, hang on a minute, he hasn't asked the question. Yeah. Is he, is well, he, okay, because I feel like I feel like this. What? That if you were like good, <laughs> en- if you were good enough in music, not great, but not bad. And you showed up with a really superior gimmick, like wearing a glowing marshmallow head. That there'd be a good chance you would get ahead, even if you weren't all, you'd have to be good enough. But you wouldn't have to be all that great because people would just be like, "All things being equal, let's get the guy with the marshmallow on his head." Yeah, but the guy like then to be able to like make songs that go to number one with Selena Gomez, I think takes not that's not just a fucking head. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. No, if you're in a song with Selena Gomez, it's pretty hard to make that go to number one. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's, let's, we're just playing. I get it. I don't know who he is. I don't care. I'm happy for everybody. Yeah? Can I just bust your... I guess I can't. No, you can. You can well, do... No, obviously, I can't. No, he can. I well, just... But you just proved I can't because we're busting these balls and you're fucking shutting down on the show because of it. I'm not because shutting I'm down. Busting, because I'm busting your fucking bro marshmallow head from the Monster Energy fucking team. Like, no. That's, it, that's how it goes. It's got, right? another, I, I, I it's got nothing to do with that. It's like, you get upset. You get upset at me going on a lunch date with someone. That's what upset me. I'm it's not just upset. Like, I'm you are. around. Okay. You're the one that's fucking getting butt hurt. Now I'm getting butt hurt. Oh, now you're now butt hurt. Now I am, yeah. Why? I fucking am honest. When my butt hurt comes on, I'll fucking tell you. Okay. Your one is, we're fucking around with Marshmallow and you get fucking butt hurt about some cunt we don't care about. We're just playing around with him. Fuck him and fuck everybody else. <laughs> wow. You got touchy, now I'm touchy. I'm not Let's t- fucking rub nipples, cunt. Are you serious? Fuck you. You got touchy at me. Now I'm touchy. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Pretty exciting UFC card this weekend. Is it? I never even, I didn't no, even know that. It's actually super boring. Right. Nachita's fighting a ghost. Right. Well, he's a ghost too. Uh, John Dodson will be fighting another small man. Right. The Young Punisher, Pedro <sighs> Munoz. And Valentina Shemchenko will be fighting a ghost. Uh, oh. She, she got a face now. Priscilla Cachuera. That's Wait, t- who is that? Oh shit, eight and no though. Yeah. If she had a fight in the UFC, I don't know. She is a Brazilian. She looks pretty cute, and uh, yeah, anybody who fights, okay. she probably cheats. She's Brazilian, but she is fighting a Russian who also probably cheats. Oh, yeah, good point. So kind of evens out. Right. Well, go cheats. May the best cheat win. Will have news? Oh, great. Cormier fighting Stipe? Yeah, is that true? I don't know. I just heard about it right before we went on air. (coughs) Oh, the news I have. Could a giant eight eight and a half mile pyramid underwater be an alien base? Wait, aliens are back? Uh, Jason, this was your theory. Yeah. You in the water? You did that you thought the uh, octopi or squids or something were building spacecraft underwater then flying up That's not exactly what I said. But sure. The answer is no. No, that could not be a space oh. base. Well, it could be. It just isn't. Wait a minute. Could be. They don't know what it is, actually. It's but there a could giant... be a space base under the sea further away because they've only discovered 15% of the sea. Right. So, this still, is, I could this, be right. This right. is the decoy space base. Wait, it was a base that looked like it was a space base, but it turned out what? It was coral? They don't know what it is still. Uh, some dude looking at Google Earth noticed that there was this giant pyramid underwater. Yep, yeah, there it is. He's right. Clearly... It's not a pyramid. An alien space base. It looks like a wishbone next to like a some sort of organ meat. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I don't understand. It's like a flat. Wait, it's like a little mountain down there or something. Yeah. But it could be a UFO base. In other news, hey. uh, the Fed say the worst flu season in 
decades is growing even more dangerous. Uh, it's spreading across the country. Um, they said it's like a plague of locusts eating their way through uh, devastating crops of healthy people. Uh, CDC said uh, today that the flu season is continuing to intensify, which they didn't expect. Usually it's over with sometime in February or at least reaches its peak, but it's super strong. It's on track to be at least as bad as the 2014-15 uh, year, which caused 56,000 deaths. Last week, 42 states reported high patient traffic for the flu. The week before, it was 39 states, so it's growing and spreading. I got the shot, and uh, they told us when they got it that it was pretty much already out of date, and it wasn't like the flu was mutating. So yeah. why would... So well, they're like, it's still better than nothing. Yeah. Like, if you get the flu like you just got it, yeah. are you in the clear now because you got it? I, I can't get it again again, right? I, you could get a different strain of it. Oh, come on. That's yeah, but what about reason. this strain that you're talking about? Well, I, I don't know what strain Tully had, and I don't know what yeah, strain but you're this is. What's this strain that you're talking about that everybody's getting all over? I don't know. It's the, just a different one? I don't know the yeah, name all, of the strain. Yeah, but it's one. I don't know if it is one because oh. that was what they were saying is I, I think the flu shot that I got, they told us something like it would prevent like... 30% of the flu or something like that. But they're like, and take that because it's better than 0%. And they said if we got the flu, it wouldn't be. Apparently, I was not as sick as I could have been. Yeah, the flu vaccine is only 10% effective this year. Uh, I don't know how to make sense of, of any of it, but... Uh, and I don't know what the truth is about this, but supposedly it will make, if you do get the flu, it less detrimental to you. It'll uh, lessen right. the flu. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, look, you people should get the flu shot because if there's even a chance, a ten percent chance, it'll prevent you from being deathly ill. Why not? It doesn't. It, it hardly costs anything if you go buy any drugstore that can do it. Basically. Yeah, I kind of want to get in the habit, even though it didn't do a goddamn thing for me. I kind of want to get in the habit of because like I always find out about it too late. Yeah. I just need like a reminder that's like, hey, dude, it's whatever November. Get a fucking. Beer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or maybe it's Super Bowl fever that you have. You got Super Bowl fever there, uh, Jason? I don't. Oh. Do you? No, but I'll tell you some people who do the Philadelphia Eagles. They've not only got Super Bowl fever, but uh, <laughs> apparently the flu as well. From the last game? Yeah. It's kind of like from Philadelphia. Right. Suspicious. Wait, the team or the fans? The team. The team has the flu? Tim Jernigan, uh, Ronald Darby, and is it Michael Kendricks? Uh, are, are the, they are all reportedly battling the flu. Uh, they're all starters, and um, um, the linebacker says, uh, Kendrick says, he, he, I'm getting over it now. It's like a cold, dude. I don't know. The whole team has it, though. Oh. Uh. And then he added, we'll be fine. It's not a big deal. They're a flu for all of them. They'll be fine. They'll be tripping balls. Yep. Uh, Justin Timberlake making his triumphant return to the Super Bowl. Will uh, Janet Jackson's nipples be coming with him? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I what do you mean, no, seriously? I read a report that Janet might be showing up for the Super Bowl. Well, because it is kind of fucked up that he pulled off her shirt and it really sidetracked her career and didn't do a damn thing to his. Yeah. And so if he can be back at the Super Bowl, why on earth should Janet Jackson not be back there? Oh, so you think they're just going to bring her back uh, yeah. because of that? Right. Yes. And then, to, and then she's going to she's gonna have to rip open his shirt. She, she it, can't. It had to be they her can't. idea. They can't even joke about a titty coming out. Right. I think she should rip off the crotch of his pants. I don't think that she can come back because she is inappropriate does, forever now. Does anybody it's actually cold in here, really bro. care? I don't care, but that's, you know, that doesn't say She shit. had to have thought of the idea. Otherwise, you've just got some guy, like, ripping off a girl's clothes. Oh, it was breakaway clothes, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. over her nipple. Dude, it was on purpose. Was, of course, of course. Of course but but he, was, he was complicit in that. Of course, yes, absolutely. I don't care whose idea it was. He did it. He went along with it. Yeah. Well, if you don't plan on being at work on Monday, uh, uh, you might want to think of a better excuse than a bad cough because apparently that's the one that everybody uses the day after the Super Bowl about 14 million people don't show up for work that's not good for the economy no um, it's one of the biggest sick days of the year and uh, you combine this with the fact that people are actually sick from the flu and you know Monday might be a light day for a lot of people 
I feel like if you're from Boston or Philadelphia, then maybe I'll give you a little more leadway. But if you're just like from San Diego and you don't fucking show up to work because of the Super Bowl, yeah. fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you're an alcoholic. Yeah, you're just a, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just a lazy prick. <laughs> Uh, the screening of the Black Panther movie took place in Hollywood Monday night. Uh, the first reactions to it are great. Uh, I just realized everybody who's listening, to watching the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. only like ten percent of them wanted that team to win, right? Most people. Why is everybody celebrating so much when one of those two teams wins? Yeah, you're not from Philadelphia, but you could particularly hate one of the teams. Like the one that knocked you out of the uh, competition. Oh, okay. There's Probably. all kinds. It's just of things. a way to find a, 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 a. It's just a you found a way to cling to the game still. Because yeah. I mean, your guys are gone. Yeah, but most people will take a rooting interest. Obviously, they don't care half as much as the people whose team is in it. But most people will will root for one team or the other. Seems like a big deal. Like I feel like I see a lot of people that would be cheering for either one of the teams that wins this that are nowhere near. Uh, involved in either one of their teams. Yeah, I, you know what I mean, like, so I hate that. I hear people that are just like, "Suck it!" and I'm like, "You're not. You're from, yeah. you know, like yeah. fucking somewhere else. Like, you just well, how's that? How's if that you, work? If you weren't saying suck it back in August, then don't start saying suck yeah, it. No, you can absolutely. But I feel like that's what the, you do. You you look if you watch a game that you don't particularly care about or fight, you can <coughs> choose for whatever reason in your head. I want that person to win, and then yeah, you get emotionally attached to it. It doesn't like America celebrate person. when the Patriots win. Like, doesn't everybody just want Tom Brady to win because they love Tom Brady? I mean, Ann H for fuck's sake keeps telling me about <laughs> about strategies that she's heard from Tom Brady, and I'm like, Ann, if you fucking tell me another, like, if you hit me over there with another fucking metaphor of how Tom Brady has lived his life so that we can do a podcast, no, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the box. Because, shut up. I swear to God, she said Tom Brady like three times one night. And I was like, what is your fucking deal? Oh, and then she then she lived reeled off another football player, another her football coach that she, she, she was up his ass because that's how she got her character for the brave. And I'm like, who are you? Bell check, bubble check or yeah, something. Yeah, bell check. He's the coach of the Patriots. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Up the fucking ass. Well, they, right, they're, so that... like, they're the big reigning dynasty, and they have the, the quarterback who's glamorous and has crossed over into the pop culture. So there's certain kinds of people who are going to be super on board with the people's champion, hmm. and then there's certain kind of people who are going to hate the people's champion because yeah. he's the people's champion. That's people people want to root for the underdog as well. Because right. they won a lot, right? Tons. Yeah, it's right. ludicrous how successful. Not that they've won like a ton, a ton of rings. Not that they've won like eight straight uh, uh, Super Bowls. It's just that they're like always in the mix. Always yeah, have yeah. been for like fifteen years. <laughs> Did uh, you see the uh, Jeopardy thing where Alex Trebek asked that everybody got all the questions right on the board, but then he asked these three people football questions, and not one single person had a fuck. Nobody would even ring in on one of the oh, football wow. questions. Oh wow! I heard he was kind of being nasty about it. I didn't watch the clip. And, I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't think the questions were all that that hard but I guess if you don't follow football then, well, well, the they, 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 because uh, I don't follow let me see if I get it Kevin and I could okay. do it probably the questions were between who, the, between who is Tom Brady because I'll tell you okay um, for 200 uh, do or don't name this play in which the quarterback runs the ball and can choose to pitch it to another back pitch it to another back quarterback mm -hmm. fuck mm. Kevin feel free to to buzz in whenever you like. That's no, you're an idiot. That's where Will was going. Yeah. Now that is a, that's the option. What's the, uh, yeah. He can keep it or he can it's pitch it. He has option. the option of pitching it to option. the running back. So it's an option? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the option. Yeah, yeah well, that, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Tom Landry yeah. perfected yep. the shotgun formation with this team. Will Cowboys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that. <laughs> they do that a lot where they make the question seem... The, the the question seems harder than it is yeah. because yeah. the question actually has nothing to do with yeah. the shotgun formation. That just, name is connected to, to cowboys. cowboys. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, that's a that's an old Jeopardy uh, trick. By signaling for one of these, a returner can reel in a kick without fear of being tackled. Oh, you wave your hand and they don't tackle you. Yeah. Yeah, that's called uh, touch. No, touch pass. <laughs> <Surrender>. <laughs> I, well, you've got the right letter. Yeah, I, got, I, I know what it is. I, I just didn't, I wanted to give Ellis a chance because he's settled down. Leave me alone. <coughs> Stop touching me. 
Yes, it's the stop touching me <laughs> signal. Stop tackling me. The signal. Fair catch. It's a fair catch. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Will's gotten two out of three. Right. And you you know very very little. Yeah, Will's about a moron. Yeah. yeah, I'm a moron. Um, these penalties are simultaneous violations, um, by the offense and the defense, and cancel each other out. Wait, what? This is tough because I knew the answer before I I saw mm. it. I don't know if I'd. Come Dingo, up. don't you play football? I mean, aren't you a football fan? Yeah. I am. These penalties, Dingo. I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm like fucking. I don't know. Like, I'm like not well. I'm sorry. All right. Anyway. These penalties are simultaneous violations by the offense and the defense and cancel each other out. Those are, and you're not going to get it. These are offsetting Offsides. penalties. Um, oh, wow. And then there's a video clue from. So, what's, is there a question yeah, what's in there? The question? Yeah, what's the name of the defensive line that took Minnesota to Super Bowls? Oh man! Oh yeah, no, that well, was you the, know. Uh, yeah, the, you buckar- know. the Buckaroos. <laughs> <laughs> what's that, Kevin? The defensive line. Well, the Penguins. They, they had, oh, they, they had, had a, a nickname. They had a nickname. The Pirates. The 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 Vikings. The, yes. The Vikings wear purple. The purple nurples. Purple rain. And we're known as the purple people eaters. Oh, lame. Wow. That well, sounds at least tough. Got two out of the five. <laughs> that sounds and, tough. Anyway, Super Bowl fever is alive and well here in the studio. <laughs> you can watch the game. I like making nachos. Uh, well, man, I, I mean, I'll have the nachos. I'll have the game. Yeah, I'm. I'm not, I don't even. I don't want to see the commercials. I don't care. I don't care about any of it. But I'll just. I'll throw it on and eat some yeah. nachos. I mean. I don't usually, drink, you don't usually drink during the day. I'll have a, couple of, have a couple of beers during the day. You know, get wild. <laughs> Crazy. It's on during the day, huh? Out here, I, and I, night. I, I love L.A. for uh, the West Coast in general for sporting events because, yeah, it starts at three here as opposed to six on the East Coast. I mean, when are those stupid fights coming on? The stupid fights are on Saturday, aren't they? Wait, when's the Super Bowl? Sunday. Oh, yeah, Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see, they say that. Yeah, oh, they man. start. They'll start covering it before you wake up in the morning, the Super Bowl, and it'll still be going on when you go to bed that night. I tried to watch the Puppy Bowl. <laughs> Not as entertaining as there's I wanted to believe. There's a Kitty Bowl too, right? I'll give that a try this year then. Kittens, <laughs> right? Instead, so you don't subject your children to potential tits. Dog fighting. You watch the halftime show of kittens. Right, soon have to watch. Justin Timberlake doing puppetry of the penis. <laughs> Just spoiler alert what I heard he's got planned. Man, that would be if he could do that. <laughs> well, if anybody can get up there, it's him. I mean, Prince's ass. Another thing you might see during the Super Bowl is the uh, trailer for the Han Solo movie, but maybe Wait, not. Wait, Han Solo got his own movie? Yeah, it's a solo maybe. movie for Yeah, yeah, it's But not this, Harrison Ford. Not Harrison what? Ford. It's young Han Solo. Oh, fuck off. And I will not be so- they've been going through a Solo. lot of problems with the movie. They fired the director and hired Ron Howard to do it. And he's uh, apparently reshot 80% of the movie. Because it was so bad. That's is, Wait, is that, is that Han Solo? Yes. So I don't like jacket. him. I don't like his head. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. It looks like... like I don't want to follow his head into space at all. I agree. It looks like Fox made a Han Solo yeah. TV series. Yeah, I yeah, fucking hate that TV Speaking of Fox, space. dude, did you see fucking uh, the MMA, the UFC show? They fucking got the punching machine. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, they measure punches on everybody who comes in. Cool. I'm like, fucking budget, man. Like, that was the thing that I was going to do ages ago, but it was just no money. They've got the proper punching machine in there. But Ron Howard. Good idea. I wonder where they got it from. Yeah. Ron Howard's a good uh, director, so maybe he'll make he's one of the good best. Out of it. Yeah. Well, I think they said it was just it was so far along in the process they just needed to bring in like a pro's pro to, to, to bring that baby into port. Yeah, but but apparently they were making a very funny movie, and Ron Howard's making a more dramatic movie. Okay, dokey. Well, that, hopefully they can. That I've been really impressed with what they've done with the new Star Wars, except for that last one, which the more I think about it is kind of depressing. 
Um, you said Black Panther too. It's supposed to be like fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh, really? That's what yeah. people are saying. Fucking okay, amazing good. Amazing is, is the advanced word on Black Panther. I've seen. Cool beans. Is that what your nerds say? In your finger, in the in the great bond of nerd. There it is. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, doctors in Newcastle, England, have been granted permission to do something that was specifically outlawed by Parliament years ago. They are going to create the first three-person baby. Hey, I don't understand what that means. So what they're going to take... Oh, I get it. They're going to get, like, a sperm from a guy, but then they're going to split the egg between two lesbian ladies. So <laughs> no, no. The baby. No, they're going to... Basically, they take uh, the donor's fertilized egg. They take all the uh, um, uh, yep. nuclear material out of that. Then they take a donor egg and insert the parents material into that so you've got the egg person and the man and the woman all combining to make a baby cuckoo cachoo <laughs> I was just thinking Wait, so now can I add a crocodile to it yeah. Right? In, sure. In Newcastle, sure. They're fucking crazy. <laughs> so what this means is that couples who can't have babies can make a baby with somebody else, but it'll have none of the genetic material of the person who helped them make the baby? Really? M- mostly what it uh. means? You see, I don't really understand how babies are made, so if you <laughs> break this down to me, I'm Well, really mommy loves daddy very much. <laughs> yeah, I know you come in them, but that's about it for yeah, me. Uh, well, what else there, happens yeah, after yeah, that? Usually after that, I'm busy getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there, these two women that are having this done um, have Murph syndrome that can go into the kids, and basically it causes them to die early. Uh, they, in childhood, they develop sudden spasms, m- loss of muscle control, weakness, deafness, dementia, all kinds of problems. So they're allowing them to do this so their babies can be born healthy. Mm. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Do we um, really was, need more babies? Though? I was thinking that what... Is uh, this a good time for me to mention that my wife's having a baby? I mean, is it never been a better time to make babies now, Will? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Just what? the one more and I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, yeah, Tully. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Really? Well, yeah, we're doing August. For real. Um, well, I hope so. That's because I'm going to the doctor a lot for no reason Suck. otherwise. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to have a daughter. This is... Uh, oh! Right. oh right. Right. One of each. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Good for you, dude. Yeah, thank you. I was just watching a stand-up comic last night talking about how nobody actually wants a daughter. <laughs> That's not true. And it's just really funny when you like you hear shit like, you know, shit, when shit doesn't apply to you, it just kind of rolls over you, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like squarely aimed at you, and you're like, huh. That's interesting that you would say that for 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's great news. Yeah, thank you. At uh, at what point in the future do you think we'll be basically be able to swap out any body part for a robotic body part? Man, August. <laughs> Please be August. <laughs> no, it's it's coming, but not that soon. 20, is it going to be twenty uh, seventy? Is when they're saying I'll be dead. That's ridiculous. But you'll be able to upgrade your body parts be too. Dead. I mean, this is like, hey man, everybody gets a car but after that's, you die. Look, look, no, no, no. This is where you can replace. Every body part. You, I mean, maybe uh, in August you can replace your arm or whatever. You know, so maybe you can get different parts, but you just can't replace everything. Okay, so you're saying that we in 2070 mm-hmm. we will all live forever. Maybe. Well, you just said that there's, there'll well, be a part for look, everything. In fact, in this article, they said, look, humans are becoming more mo- more robotic. They have more robotic parts. And machines are becoming more and more human. We'll eventually meet somewhere in the middle and uh, be um, human machines, as your, they're called. Even your brain? <laughs> I don't. You look. There are people doing experiments into that. Yeah, they know. just take it out of your back of your mind, Michael, and then they yeah. plug it in, and, and then yeah, you get a new body, and then they plug that shit in. It's very simple stuff. It's just like uh, memory cards. Because like, if you change the, I'm just I'm being overly, overly simple, obviously, mm-hmm. but if you change the bottom half of my body, mm-hmm. and then later on you change the top half of my body, well, then there's no actual original me left anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's for sure. That's what's happening. Yeah. yeah, but there will exist a robot that thinks it's you. Right. Yeah. Which means we live forever. Right. Right. What's in the... this weird yeah. robotic? Yeah, you know, if I'm dreaming, digital haze. Yeah. yeah. I get it. What's the first thing you replace if you get like, uh, you know, you know, you can only afford one, one part. <laughs> you, what the you fuck? The hair. Yeah, yeah. You will live a short but glorious life. You know what? That's not true. I would actually replace my hip. 
and my back and my spine. I'd probably go with my skin. What would you replace, Dingo? Oh, my little toe. Really sore. Yeah, it's sore. Right. It's hurt. <laughs> my butt's hurt. Uh, <laughs> you can replace that in 2070. Yeah. Let's get a new one. A uh, new study proves what we already know when men find more men more attractive uh, once they fi- find out that they're desired by other women. Yep. Oh yeah. The wedding ring is the perfect example. Was it Chris Rock that used to do the thing about when uh, when you're when you're a dude and your friend has an awesome girlfriend? You're like, man, I gotta find a girl just like that. But when a girl has a friend with an awesome dude, she's like, I need him. I'm not going to agree with that. (laughs) On average, a woman will change their initial rating of a man by around 13%, depending on what other women think of him. So just the fact that a woman is with you shows that, you know, you are, uh, have some sort of redeeming qualities. Yeah, yeah, somebody's putting up with it. I think it works a tiny little bit both ways. There have been a couple times where, like, a guy I knew was dating girl and I didn't, like, see it. And then sometimes I'm just right. I'm like, this guy's out of his mind for dating her. But other times, like, I hung out with her once or twice, and I'm like, oh, I get what this guy sees. Okay, yeah, I never yeah. would have seen that before. Yeah. So there's a little bit of that. Well, this is a trait that's most often found in, in females and includes birds and fish. They It's called mate copying or the wedding ring effect. And, uh, you know, uh, somebody that's already in a relationship is... Desire more desirable. Because I think they're in a dudes relationship. that aren't that desirable that have really hot chicks hang out with them have, have really hot chicks want to now desire him. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I always use this example. It's absolutely true. I used to work in um, a coffee shop in the fashion is- in- uh, 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 district of New York. Models, straight up actual professional working models, used to come in all the time and get coffee. Did not want anything to do with me. And then I got a girlfriend, and I totally noticed that not all of them, but some of them started talking to me really, really yep. differently because I wasn't trying to hit on them. Right. And I was comfortable, and it's it's absolutely a real thing. That's a, you know, be, I've had conversations with models when I was with Tony Hawk. <laughs> There's that too. Yeah. Just uh, saying a lot. Of, I remember a, a, a specific girl giving me a really long conversation where I was like, "Are you fucking fried?" You know what I mean? Like what? I kept looking around like, is this... She's like, we should hang out later. I'm like, yeah! That happened Why? to me one time when yeah. I was with uh, Johnny Knoxville. Right! This See? chick passed by, she made small talk, stopped, made small talk, and then she walked on, then she turned around, she goes, I like your hair, and uh, Knoxville said, thanks, and he, she goes, no, no, I'm talking to you. And That's then rough. she came back and gave me her phone number. Oh, she was Megan Knoxville. Is that what it is called? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, know. you go like, hey, like, uh, I like your nose. And then you go, oh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, really high itself. Back your fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mind look, games. Look, I mean, look, they can sense it. Even if the girl was not with you, I think there's a sense that something's different about you. Just like Tolly was talking about, they can sense a difference. Mm. Um, and, and girls can tell when you've gotten laid recently if you're in a relationship yeah. that makes stands the reason you've been laid more. Which, I just came face is hard, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which brings me to this story. What's the best way to prevent a dog from biting you? Like, not hang out with one? Kick uh, it in the mouth? That's probably the best punch one. punch it? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this is another, you know, bit of science evidence to back up what we all know, but um, researchers from the University of Liverpool have discovered that people who are anxious about being around the dog are more likely to get bitten and so he senses calm. the pussy yeah yeah they sense that you're afraid mm-hmm. and maybe they even i'm thinking uh, maybe they even uh, um, think that that might be like oh he's on edge because he's gonna make a move on me uh, i'm gonna get him right. first or right. whatever yeah. i've told you guys I, I had a dog get weird a strange dog get weird on me one time because i was like super stoned and i knew what he was hmm. like, his owner was like oh sorry and i was like no He's right. <laughs> I think <laughs> creatures. Oh, <laughs> Spencer, Spencer. Creatures who don't right. understand human language, who can only get information from body language and what they sent, that would include, you know, animals and babies, um, have to take nonverbal cues. And I, just like babies get stressed <laughs> out when their parents are stressed, even if the parents aren't doing anything to stress them out, they can sense that the parents are stressed. And it's the same thing with animals. 
Uh, uh, speaking of animals, um, there's some fear that spies or terrorists could use drones in Russia. So Vladimir Putin um, is handling that with specially trained birds of prey. Yeah. They used to use uh, hogs old school, right? to scare away crows, but now they've got falcons um, because they say they are really can maneuver well and they, they can take down a small drone. Right. Well, this shit just plays well there, too. He, he wants to, he always wants to seem really like old school. I know, right? Because I was going to say, people. I feel like there'd be a better way. No disrespect to the lasers yeah, some I don't know yeah. fucking other drones yeah exactly you yeah. know or a gun yeah like he yeah. He, he's, he <laughs> likes doing the macho rush yeah thing, but yeah. he probably lets them when he when they release them he's got no shirt on yeah yeah I mean? he's on a horse and they're on his arm and yeah uh, earlier this week we uh, was talking about that lion hunter who got uh, killed by a stray bullet uh, now in Baltimore a 51 year old man who was hunting with others was knocked unconscious when a dead goose fell from the sky Dang, that's unlucky. He was flown to a shock trauma center yesterday. Oh, shit. He's he got, listed like, rocked. in stable condition. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He got, like, seriously rocked. Big goose? Wait, so that means somebody shot the goose yeah. and the goose landed on his head? Yeah, yeah. Does that mean he's... I mean, what, isn't that more like his friend shot the goose? Because... I mean, would you all be shooting? You mean, would you have another pack of people shooting goose in the same vicinity? I That'd be that. fucking dangerous, wouldn't it? Maybe he was shooting straight up. Mm, Wait, uh, he shot the goose? <laughs> directly over And up. then he was like, oh, fuck, I missed. But <laughs> what he didn't know is the goose was extra high. No, uh, the, and it plummeted out of the sky. And he was just sitting there going, reloading. And it hit him in the head. No, the, the story says it was a member of his hunting party that shot the goose. So. You sure it wasn't suicide? Like the duck <laughs> did it on purpose? Kamikaze this, goose? Yeah, like he just rammed him. Because mm, what are the odds of landing on him? Mm -hmm. I know. Do you think somebody yelled, duck, duck, goose? Oh, no. I mean, come on. Should we just go home? I'm, really? I mean, Dingo's ready to go. I might follow him. <laughs> hey, we all know that smoking kills, so why would a man in a duck, truck... Duck, duck, goose, goose. I'm leaving. <laughs> <coughs> come on, Dingo. I might die. So no, I'm good. So you I won't just even, like, you know. man, I just like don't need to be yelled don't at right so now. Don't get so touchy. I'm not. I you just did. Got a, I just got a lot going on upstairs, and I just don't need you calling me a cunt on the radio. I'll call everybody a cunt. You no, know? I know, but it's like on like a brotherly thing. Like I love you, you know that. I just like fuck, man. It's like well, we were just playing, dude. I you know? know. I we we all were. We just like, we can't act like, I, I just like, you know, I don't, you can't, you can't yell at me like that. To all those people, it's just like weird. Who people? The people that listen to your show. You like act, you, you got really defensive, like super gnarly. I get it, it's you, but like other people would not look at it like that. You like threatened me. <laughs> did I, I didn't threaten you. You did. No, I didn't. You did. I threatened you. Yeah. I listened to it. I did not threaten you. You did. No, we didn't. Okay. You didn't. Threaten you with what? Just listen to it. Let's go smoke. It was pretty gnarly what you said. I'm fine. It's just like people listening to that, that's like Who are the people listening? Oh, you're fans. Talk, wait, are you just on there? Is that what you're doing? Was that what you were doing for the last 45 minutes? Just fucking riding the haters? No, I'm not riding. Dude, I could give two fucks, man. What I come here every day about? for the last 10 years for you, about? dude. I come here for you every day. Not because I get paid or because it's a job. I fucking love you and come here for you. So for you to call me a cunt and say, let's go cunt, toe to toe, on the radio, is fucking unfair, man. It's unfair to me. You know, it's like, what have I done, dude? I show up here every week for you, dude. Not because I fucking... You know, I fucking stand downstairs like a minion and get walked up here. It's like, dude, dude fucking... Alright, don't, don't do me. Don't do me the fucking favour, dude. Oh, my God. If you don't want to be here, don't be here. I, I... You know what? I do want to be here, but, like, you no, got to... fucking... 
You're gonna. You gonna I'm, I'm, I'm slave driving. You don't want to. You don't want to have a conversation about it now. Get you paid all the time. <coughs> I don't care. Don't fucking pay you. You don't show up all the time anyway. Oh my god. This is not your job. This is like a fucking walk-in, walk-out thing for you. Oh my you god. You don't care. We had a conversation. You were like, I can get you paid. All those other people get paid when they come in. I've been, I've been here more than anyone else out Ever of all these guys. Ever since I've you paid, you haven't been here. For ten years. Ever since I've tried to get you paid, you haven't been here. And it's not even about that. Just so you know, it's not about why that. Why bring that up? Oh, you know what? You don't want to have a conversation about it because I'm you're talking wrong. about it. But you're not. You just defend yourself. If you listen to what you said to me on the radio, it would hurt your feelings because it hurt mine. Okay? You hurt my feelings super gnarly, dude. And I show up because I love you. Not this or the fucking. I show up because I love you. I care about you. I've always backed you 1,000% through thick and thin for 10 years, dude. For ten years, I've had your fucking back, man. <laughs> well, and and I mean, you treat me like that on the radio. You're out of your, your heavy fucking mind. I get it, dude. Back? But if you listen to what you said, just do me a favor and listen to what you said to me. That's all I ask, because it was super inappropriate. And I don't need to show up here. I've got You're so right. much shit going on. You're right. You don't. And I don't need you to don't show need up here. To. You don't need to fucking come in here and get all touched by about your fucking bullshit, fuck, fake. Friends, oh. and that's you're the, the one that fucking started bringing this show down when the show started. You're the one that got oh. sour puss, and that's why I got a fucking attitude. Because the people that you're worried about, the fans, uh, you don't give a fuck about them because you just. Oh, I don't give a down. fuck about them, dude. I show up to Alice Media every show. fucking time. You just I, 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 I fly myself there. I pay myself there. I, I do everything. I show up for them, dude. I fly myself there. I pay my own way. I've never asked for one fucking dollar out of any of it. Alice Why Mania, you this up the dollar then. Because you just said it again. I didn't say anything about the money. <sighs> just go, dude. You got a shitty attitude. Oh, I had the shitty attitude. Oh, so do I. But I've got to keep doing the show. You don't have to. I do. So just go, dude. Man, he's taking it wrong, dude. What do you? What is, if you want to go back in there and talk and do radio, because that's my job. I actually fucking get paid and care about it, dude. Give you a hug. If you don't give a fuck about this show, then good, don't give a fuck about it. But this is my livelihood. I don't, so I don't want to have a giant fucking fight with you before I go back on the air. Alright, let's not have a fight. Let's not have a fucking fight. You want me to tack on an extra break here? Do it my fucking self. I always fucking do it myself. I can run another four minutes if you want. Fuck. Your call. Whatever you want to do. <coughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. If you change your mind in the next two minutes, let me know. But I can just run another half break.
podcast. We're back about four minutes. Do you want to do the explanation videos? Essentially four Tully that I thought were. Do we want to do anything or do we want to just do news for a while? What was the stories? What? So that was like how to eat ass or how to touch a woman's breast. That lady um, knew, that knew the horny 12-year-old? Yeah. Mm, what else is there? Uh, we had the medal uh, awards categories that we each came up with a couple different ideas for categories for that. Um, or trap songs. Or trap songs. Or just hang out, take phone calls, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Uh, I want a time machine. I mean, why? I'm sorry, guys. I mean, again, I just don't know how to... Um, my only suggestion would be not to force anything in this, like, and force us to do a bit. Um, I, I think at least just start without it and then decide if we want to... The sex stuff is light. Yeah, okay, so know. why don't we do news and then just see if we want to do that. Yeah. Um, do you want me to text him or anything like that, Jason? Text her. Bingo, or anything. Um, if you change your mind, just let me know. sent you second third and fourth are probably better than the first one but the first one was a little ridiculous in terms of like the breasts and all that stuff in case you got to it right well you can kind of run it okay so that, then i guess i would just do Two, three, four, one. Yep. But you're gonna have to play him yeah. anyway. So, uh, Jason, <coughs> why are you coming back here with mm -hmm. Will? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you know it's time to switch the dish? If your TV bill was uh, unpleasant, an un un man, unpleasant surprise this month and last month and the month before, it might be time to switch the dish. If, if you like to spend more time enjoying your favorite TV and less time on the phone with your cable company, it might be time to switch the dish. That's because this is different. With the two-year price guarantee, free installation, and hands-free, they've been ranked number one in customer service nationally by BJ Power and their customers. With recognizations like that, it's a better time than ever to switch to Dish. Dish. Titty dear.
To learn more, go one eight four four call dish or go to dish.com or visit a local retailer near you. For JD Power Award information, visit jdpower.com. Requires credit qualification, 24 month commitment. Early termination for your auto pay tax and surcharges not included. Other restrictions apply for full details. 1 844 called DISH. Singles in America survey took its yearly look at the sexual habits and attitudes of healthy, hard fucking Americans. Yeah. And um, uh, people, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. A bunch of people say that the number one thing they look for in a sexual partner is simply somebody who cares. Oh. Somebody who is good at communication and helps them achieve orgasms. So I think the single greatest takeaway you can get from this is maybe not that important how big your dick is, maybe even not that important how great looking you are. If you are concerned with making your partner come, they will probably be at least adequately satisfied with your performance. But the reason why I bring this up is because of a detail I saw buried down at the bottom, which is where they ask people to just... Um, evaluate their happiness with their sex lives and the women who rated uh, who said they were having the best sex of their entire lives on average were 66 years old what wait it's not over no i'm gonna have better sex at 66 well, i don't know if you of uh, all girls do i would guess i would guess no for for a reason that i'll explain in a second it's just a, a hunch of mine so women say they're having their best sex at age 66. For men, the age is 64. Okay, once again, what? Isn't that crazy? Why? I mean, what's the... Well... Because uh, their inhibitions or... I think that's why... And that's why I would suspect this would potentially uh, apply less to you is... Yeah, I think a lot of times for ladies... And I, I suspect this is going to change a little bit as time goes on. But 60-year-old women, 66-year-old women... Think about how different the world was when they started having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know that young ladies nowadays would even know, would even recognize the inhibitions that most of these women. Which means, granted. which means that the women that are young and having sex now are, are having the best sex ever, and these poor other ladies had to wait until they were sixty-six. That's another way of looking at it. I do think there's probably something to the thing that people. We do live in a very superficial age and that people worry about the way that they look and are they sexy enough in bed and that maybe holds them back. And I don't know how much that really changes. I think that's why at least by the time you get to be like 40, you go, man, I've just been fucking with this body for like 25 years now. It's not going to get any better than this. Where is it really getting me to worry about if I'm not a supermodel? Or, you know, I don't look like Giselle or Tom Brady if you're a guy or a girl. This is just my body and I gotta use it for all it's worth, even if, with all of its lumpy imperfections. Hmm. I could see that. I really do wonder about this and I would really like to believe that it is true with, uh, I'm satisfied with my, uh, my sex life, but my wife and I are really fucking busy and there's a little dude who crawls in bed with us all the time and I, I kinda have to believe that we're just like kinda, you know, holding up the fort for now. And that, yeah, when we're old and disgusting and everybody moves out, we can really let it rip. Uh, yeah. I mean, when my kids are at home, I, yeah, the the sex thing is like yeah, next to impossible. It changes shit. It's definitely, you're definitely, if you do have sex, you're definitely not having it the same way. Right. Yeah. No, I might be taking dildos in the butt 20 years from now. Right. It's, thank you, Michael. It's possible. You might. You never know. Nobody totally knows. Possible. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I never would have guessed. Yeah, there was a great bit on a TV show I used to like called uh, Broad City, where the the mom is dildoing the the older mom's dildoing the older dad, because he's just like I don't want to put that in my butt, and she's just like, well, what do you fucking think I thought the first time you brought one home for me? Touche. Yeah. What about the first time I saw it was Train Spotting? Mm -hmm. I think yeah, and the the mom was fucking the dad in the butt, and the fly on the wall was watching. Oh, she have a strap on or something? Yeah. Oh. And I was like, whoa! Yeah. But that stuff was still being played for, for shock. Yeah, but that... 
some would say might have already shocking. that might already be half like, I, I thought it was like they made up in the movie and no one's ever actually done that ever at their age but that is definitely not the case no it's definitely, tons of couples yeah, buttfuck each other way more than than you realize like, yeah I, I always think about that you know that ridiculous thing that Will Ferrell used to do on Saturday Night Live with Rachel Dratch where they were like the really really overly affectionate couple and they'd have to oh and they ate dinner. food in the jacuzzi and, and yeah, shit yeah. the dude with the beard would like lover. yes yeah. yes but like imagine the not silly version of that where you really are just like we're disgusting like we just have gross animal sex and we are so completely comfortable with one another we're like we're about, we're gonna die together right who gives a shit you know fucking swing that saggy ass in my face see that's what I'm saying we're gonna die together yeah that makes it so much harder mm-hmm yeah. Yeah. No, I really would like to imagine. I don't think I would advertise it to people in quite the same way that they did, which is was obviously a big source of the, the comedy in that. Goddamn, that's the funniest thing Rachel Dratch did on SNL. But uh, whoa, what? I thought she was funny. She did that. What was that? Wah, wah, wah. that oh, was I never really funny. got into that. You're right. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, Debbie Downer. She yeah, did tons of funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They still feel like that's going to be her uh, her SNL legacy. Neither neither here nor there. I'm not I'm not here to shit on Rachel Dratch. I'm here, I know. I'm here to speak positively of seven year old people fucking. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So there's hope for anybody. And I don't know if anybody's listening who's uh, in their sixties and fucking wildly better than they ever have before. By all means, give us a call eight five five LS forty one. Yeah, maybe don't. Speaking <laughs> of, I'm happy for you though. I think it's great. Yeah, maybe just keep I it. feel like that's what I see at the swinger um, right. places. Or well, did see. Yeah, you're not going to those anymore? Nah. Nah, the only time I would go to one now would be is if, if it was one of those ones where someone said that it's a special invitation only where everybody's pretty attractive. I understand. You know? And, and no, but th- I'll be back. Like, when I'm... When my balls <laughs> are, like, super saggy and I'm old, yeah. I'm going to the swinger places. Then you can... You know what I mean? Then I'll have a bunch of old bitches on my old balls. It's funny, man. It just evolves. Like, I can totally see how... It used to be, like... A now tr- I realize they're all going to be having the best sex they've ever had. Now I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You know, in, like, in like the 80s movie or something where there's, like, the, the sexy, you know, grandma or something, and they always have to, like, when, even when Judge Judy posed to show how thin and sexy she was, she was still, like, 80 years old, so she had, like, like the see-through, like... N- nighty, what? like she did. Oh yeah, when she turned like seventy or something, she Judge Judy posed to on, on like a yacht or something in a bikini. Why? It looked good. It looked oh, good. Okay, but like I get how a seventy year old lady could be sexy now. Judge Judy though. Oh yeah, she has the most not sexy face. Look at that. I know, I'm so confused. But you see, she's still got to wear like the see through negligee because she's thin. But you know, shit's hanging off of her. Of course it is. That's about as good as a woman her age's body can, uh, was that? Yeah, that was her 70th birthday. Well, she looks great, and she looks horny as fuck. And she's nailing that She little, looks like she really wants it. Yeah, and she's nailing that little schlubby dude that had What little schlubby shirt. dude? Her husband had a judge show for a while. No. Is it Judge Harry Shanglin? They're judge fucking? Yeah, they're both judges. Oh, good for them. But, like, I get it now. You know, I'm not, I'm not... I'm still not really, like, if I had my pick of the litter, I don't want to fuck 70-year-old ladies, but I'm starting to really see how when I'm a 70-year-old man, I can get down like that. Yeah, I mean... Just I, the fact that they want to do it is so hot. I've never done a 70-year-old lady, but I would do it. I will someday, God willing. Yeah, I know, right, if I make it to that. I would like to just bang a couple of uh, 45-year-old ladies. I don't do that. You know, now that I'm in the 45-year-old range, yeah. I don't fuck 45-year-olds. You know, they never hang out with me. I don't even know a 45-year-old. Oh, I know plenty. I know They're not going to want to fuck me. That's true. Yeah, I fuck 28-year-olds because I knew a 28-year-old would fuck anybody who looks so stupid. But you know, it's the same way. You know how you like, look in the mirror and you kind of feel like you look the same, but then you see a picture of yourself and you're like, oh boy, I've totally, I look way older. Yeah. Like, that's the way that I feel about the women that I that I know. I'm just in, I'm in the mom and dad set. And I, I, actually, my wife and I are kind of younger for the people that w- we know. A lot of people have kids in their 40s, mm. you know? And I look at these women and they just look like girls to me. These are the girls I've always known that I would have dated or whatever. And it's only if I see one of them, like, next to a girl who's actually 23 years old, where I'm like, oh, shit, you're an old lady. But that's not the way that I see them. So I guess it's just going to keep going that way. Kinda. 
Yeah, because I would totally fuck a 45 year old. I'm into it. Yeah, well, 45 year olds. Anybody listening to pornographic <laughs> video tapes, I'm super into it. Yeah, 45 year olds, it's not the same as it used to be. Not at all. Well, then there's that as well. I'm talking about, I, I would fuck a 45 year old from the 80s. Mm. That's like wow. a hell. That's like a 60 year old nowadays. No, oh, nah. Yeah. Wait, nah, because I fucked a. Wait. My friend's moms when I was a kid were not attractive. I fucked a 40 year old when I was 17. She was hot. She was like really a plastic surgery lady and well, stuff. That's, but that's not your typical. That's not your typical okay. 40, 45 year old. Look, lady. I kind of look uh, later in the evening. Is it live? Wake in bed. I want to fuck her. You know. But I don't know what you're talking. I have no idea. The, the like Sam Blasted. Bob Seger's song. Sam Blasted old like forty five year old cigarette smoking uh, uh-huh. stripper. You know, give her a good going over on the cheap couch. I get that. It's romantic. It's sexy. It's yeah. Hot. Right. Well, and I think it's because of this thing that this story. I would do Judge Judy on her boat. Wait. That's the vibe. Is there someone on the phone who is old and having sex? Hello, Ron. Howdy. Yeah, I'm uh, 54. My wife is 70. And we have sex twice a week. 70? Never once, never three times. Twice a week? Wait, is it at the same time okay. every week? No. Oh. Two different times during the week. And... How long have you known her? I've been married to her 31 years. Right, so when you met her, she was how old? I was 23 and she was 40. Wow, so that's a weird... uh, I mean, did you have a job when you met her? Yeah, I was working. Okay, and then is she rich? No. (laughs) Neither one of us are rich. I'm a four-ass truck driver and she's on uh, Social Security. Right, and does it the, when you get to seventy, does the vagina dry up? No. Okay. No, not, not whatsoever. So it's uh, it's dripping wet, is what you're saying. Oh yeah. Are you butt fucking her? No. Right. <laughs> does she blow you? Oh yeah. You I get see. you get down there. <laughs> wait for it. You get down there and uh, blow her. Well, there might not almost be. Almost spilt my fucking beverage all over the studio. <laughs> that was just a shocking response. Uh, Ron, you're a man's man, I gotta tell you. Now, do you find, is, is it just that your sex life is as good as it used to be, or do you find that it has changed over the years? Uh, it's changed a little bit, but it's still good. We, uh, we still enjoy having sex with each other. I mean, and it's not always in the bedroom either. Sometimes it's out in the living room. Out in the backyard. Out in the backyard? What kind of positions does a 70 year old lady have left? Hey, she's flexible. <laughs> okay. Are we talking like doggy and all the all those positions? Yeah, all the positions. Man, wow, how long can she fuck for before she gets tired? Oh, probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Fuck! Are you a hard fucker or what are you coming in? <laughs> right. No, I get her nice and wet before I, you know. Yeah, but once you get in there, Ron, do you slam it home? That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. yeah. That's right. She wants it hard, and sometimes she wants it slow. That's right. But she's not. She's Women. not afraid to tell you what she wants. No. And your erection is totally fine. Oh yeah. Uh. No blue pill yet. <laughs> wow, check you out. Impressive, sir. Very impressive. Thank you for the call. Does she like sex to you and stuff? Oh, come on, Michael. Go ahead. Does she sex to you? No, we don't do none of that. On okay, the phone. good, good. All right. How do you know when it's <sighs> the two times a week? Just whenever we feel like it. What does she say? Well, we don't have to say nothing. It just, you know, get in bed. If she feels up to it, we do it. If she don't, we don't. She just pulls down her pants and tells you it's time for the early bird dinner? Oh man, I gotta go. Thanks, dude. Okay. 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 Yeah, well, we'll get one. I like our rules. <sighs> I love that. Man, seven year old Eve in the morning is a windy breakfast. You know? I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah, well, I guess that's the only way you gotta. I am. I mean, I nothing, you're not getting out of it. Got nothing to get out of bed for. Just wake up and just. Hit the box. Just yeah, hit that. First thing in the morning, just 70 year old coffee breath. Just fucking bang it out and then go to brunch. 
Whoa, brunch. What's brunch? Acid? <laughs> well, speaking of sex, mm. a listener named Christopher sent me a link to a uh, lady who has a YouTube page. Her name is Dr. Lindsay Doe, and <laughs> she is the host of Sexplanations, which is presented by Adam and Eve. Yeah. And uh, she's just got some some plain talk on some things that some people would be uh, a little bit less comfortable talking about than Dr. Doe. For example, this video called How to Eat Ass. Huh. Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this sex curious show, Sexplanations. Today I'm going to answer our very popular question. How do I eat ass? Wait. <laughs> Wait, is this can something you... people have a problem with? Wait, can you, is there a technical term for that? Analingus. Mas Analingus. Okay, but she just wants to break down, first of all, eating ass. Yeah. I didn't? Okay. Known as popping the salad, rimming, cleaning the kitchen, playing the rusty trombone, <laughs> analingus, and culo sex is actually pretty simple. Step one, ask your partner if you can. Any interest in me licking your asshole the next time I go down on the <laughs> Man, I said yes to all three of those. I don't know about you. Where do I find you, Lindsay Dell? Right? Her eyes. Sorry. ridiculous so see if you can blow shit into your own nose to see if it's good and at that point you've passed the point of no return i know you blew like, on it yeah exactly you're eating that ass she's it's, got crazy eyes i know right i'm not no Eating asses, if not nasty. I know. I know. about their butthole being a butthole. That's all covered up. Win, win, win. Step eight: Don't literally eat ass unless your partner gets into a poking feeling out of nowhere. I recommend working your way to the anus from the buttocks, from the genitals to the perineum, inner thighs, and up. Kissing and touching with your hands, licking if you like, spreading the cheeks, and going straight in for asshole can feel quite jarring. I personally associate it with a pelvic exam or a wedgie. You want to feel welcome there. No way. Straight in, hard, Attack. face first, yep. Kissing and tickling. Even making contact and not moving at all can be incredibly arousing. The anus is densely packed with nerve endings. It's part of a concentrated area of erogenous tissue and it's slightly taboo. So there's a thrilling adventure and doing something pleasurable that society tells us not to. It's hypnotic watching this lady talk. What you gonna eat the ass? Oh, 
Oh, God, I hate her. Show us! I want to stop listening to her. Right now, I think she tongues a balloon at some point. Wait, I really? I don't know. That's what I saw in the preview. I, I was watching one video, and on the side it was telling me the one I was going to watch next was her nose deep in a balloon. Ow. Oh, not nose deep in anything else. No, 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 no. Man, she says wash your face afterwards. Like, I'm no way. You, what you do is you get a shit and you Sanchez yourself. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that weird gnarly, it's this mixture, like you're, as if your own spit on your face it, it doesn't smell bad enough. You, now you have a tiny little butt, a bit of butt mixed in there, and then you make out. Yeah! That's what you do. You do! You get ass mouth and shit. I mean, we're eating ass here. We're yeah, wild. I know. I know. There's no tomorrow when you're eating that. I don't want to ask. Put a little dent to How's that? Dental dent. I'm, I'm, I'm out of the ass eating game after that. No, I would expect... It's weird, because I do think you got to play it safe, but you have to draw the line. Like, you need to use condoms. You can't use dental dams. It's weird. Yeah. It's just weird. I mean, I, it's not a bad idea for someone that's, like, young <laughs> and scared of eating ass, but in the end, you're going to have to eat the ass. You know? you got to make your own dildo? Sure. Is that necessary? Ooh. Dildos are objects shaped like human penises used for sexual pleasure. Throughout mm. history, people have been making them from wood, ivory, and silver. In Siberia, they used reindeer calf muscles, and in Greece, it was leather. While the concepts and craft aren't new, I have some new twists. Original dildos, if you will. Dildos are often used to rub the clitoris externally, so they need to be body friendly. If they're going to penetrate the mouth, vagina, or anus, the dildo also needs to have something firm to keep the shape of an erection. Share Heights 1970s report of sexuality found that the most common house. Okay, too much back. Yeah, Can we yeah, cut yeah. to the chase? What does she make a dildo out of, Andrew? What? Bullshit. I like them rough. I like spikes on mine. Wait. Wait, pens so and bats. I am bats. supposed to use a plastic bat? Wait, I'm going to put oh. my kids' toys no, in. No, you can't. You're not supposed to use a plastic bat. Oh. oh, no, you are supposed to use your kids' Just lightsaber. file down the knobs. <laughs> Socks. Breast cutlets. Dude, I'm not putting a breast cutlet. I'm not putting... There you go. I draw the line of breast cutlet. I can't deal with her anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've had, I think I've had enough. With her. My goodness, her eyes are about to come out of her face. The video that... <laughs> I know. The first video that I saw was her talking about... She was giving sex advice to a really horny 12-year-old. Which is just... It's just really weird that she's aware of a really horny 12-year-old. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's ruins it. I mean, I'm not into her, but yeah, she's super. Yeah, she's very um, Disney Channel eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, like uh, yeah, it's like she's so excited to be here, man. What they're showing here as a dildo is like, you, why can't you just stimulate your clitoris and wait till you get home? Because what she's doing right now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, these are prison. These dildos. videos are just yeah. I mean, straight up prison. Dildos. Yeah, it's insane what's going on here. <laughs> Insane. Do, do, do women make prison dildos, or do they let you have dildos in in ladies? Oh, they'd have to make them, right? What do ladies make? Can we look that up? Do you know now that I can talk freely about the whole baby thing? My wife's OBGYN. They sell vibrators. What? What? Yeah, I took a picture. Oh, that's cool. Someone has a question about that shit. Uh, butt pancake. Butt butt pack. Package. Sorry. Butt package. Sorry. Hey, hey what's up, boys? Hey, man. No, we actually we actually planned this one. I do have super sperm though. We didn't plan it for long. Yes, you do. Congrats, man. Thank you. Uh, little baby girls are a whole different trip, man. It's so so awesome. Yeah, yeah. I always say I try everything once, you know. <laughs> yep. All right, I gotta get back to work. Have a good weekend, dude. Hey, uh, David. What's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Good. I mean, I 
Uh, yeah, well, maybe a little bit. I mean, if you're going to be stuck on there and, and um, I mean, if you're on there looking at porn, I think that heightens your sex drive. But yeah, if you're on there just watching Instagram and shit all day, for sure. Young people are statistically, and this is a worldwide trend, having less sex, doing less drugs, yep. drinking to excess less. There's this, I mean, you can't speak generally of the world, but if you were to, it seems like this current generation plays it a lot more safe, and they're a little bit more boring as people. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's a lot, lot, lot more parenting going on. Like, the amount of time that parents spend one-on-one -on -one with their kids has grown up, gone, up, gone up really dramatically in the last couple of decades, and it's kind of worked. People are having much more well-adjusted kids, so they don't act out and do insane shit. Right. But they're also, they're not quite so interesting because they're well adjusted. They're kind of boring, you know? So that's that's the uh, that's the uh, the long and the short of that. Yeah, I interviewed Malice last night for uh -huh. Alice Tronics and she was talking about all the, you know, many times <coughs> when she first got into heroin and and, uh, and uh, just her outlook on life. She was pretty sure the world was going to end. Mm -hmm. That was her theory until 2000. The like the actual like that one was where she was absolutely positive the that the two thousand the two when yeah. two thousand kicked in it was going to end and she was in prison and she was trying to start a riot in the prison because she was, thought she was in jail for the end of the world and then when the world didn't end mm -hmm. she slowly but surely realized that hey me trying to kill myself before the world ends might not actually be like she legitimately thought it and then because of that lived this fucking crazy life where. She was saying her and her friends were, f f like, having, like, orgies in fucking broken down uh, buildings and shit. It, like, just no holes, but she said she was doing that before she got into heroin. And I'm like, why? What's, you know what I mean, why? That's an odd thing for a girl to be into, you know? Like, you got you know that. And she's like, yeah, I just didn't, I, I, I you mean, because of the, her situation is in a childhood by being adopted and, and all that bullshit all the foster system all yeah. the foster system. she just for sure was like it's gonna end soon so yeah. who gives a fuck I remember so there's her. those kind of people you know and I yeah. still say those kind of people still exist oh yeah just thank god for it seems like the, the average child's a little bit smarter and doesn't want to do that I don't think my situation compares in any way to Malice's but yeah in in the 90s I definitely thought that Maybe it was just some weird chemical thing that happens to some teenagers. I was definitely a depressed kid. But I thought that something really um, severely had broken in the world. And that, like, something awful was about to happen in our culture. I couldn't have really told you what it was, but I was willing to believe really, really dark stuff. It just seemed like the world had sort of held itself together for a long time, and now all of a sudden it wasn't going to hold itself together anymore. And I can't tell you exactly what I thought was going to happen from that. I didn't think that the actual apocalypse was coming, but um, I, I did not have a lot of hope for the future of humankind when I was that age. I wonder if kids think that now with all the... I mean, you got things saying, like, hey, we might have shot a mos missile over it. We might not have. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm 15, 16, am I like, it's not much longer, and then I hear that guy... I mean, honestly, you can yeah. be one way or the other. It, it, it is, it is a, This is a fact. Donald Trump bullshits and then backs up the bullshit by saying, no, 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 you're wrong. That's a fact. We all know that. And a kid can catch that. And then when he's talking about my button's bigger than yours, I, I just want to do kids because when I was a kid, I was like, I don't care. I don't know what any of them are saying. But I, I thought I was definitely a different weird kid. I believe kids of today are up to speed with it because it's so in your face. It's a part of every social media thing. Like Trump is, yeah. he might not be cool to the kids, but he's fucking in their faces. But they're aware of them. I don't think anything can really totally compare to when they would have been doing nuclear drills in grammar schools, like get under your desk and kind of shit. Uh, good That's, point. You know, there's nothing that can really compare to that. Because I don't see my kids sweating it. No. Like, they don't think that the world's going to end in any good. way. Good. I hope they're right. My son does have uh, opinions of Donald Trump, though. My daughter does not, and she's older. But my son has obviously sat around somebody yeah who will remain nameless might have been a marine in his, in his past mm -hmm. and, and, and has a lot of opinions about 
yeah. politics, rightfully so, but it seems like he really doesn't like Trump. And I'm like, it's a weird thing for an eight-year-old to really not like Trump. I mean, yeah. I watch you, dude. You don't surf the internet looking for uh, Trump memes, you know? You know, I was he doesn't thinking, care. I was thinking, you've said that before, though, because my kid told me that some kid at school announced that his dad voted for Donald Trump, and I thought it was so weird that that's such a boring adult thing that it would have trickled down to kids. But again, it makes sense. He, he does suck up so much of the oxygen in our national conversation, so people do talk about it over the dinner table, so kids repeat what they hear. But then I started thinking about, I can I don't know, I don't remember why, but in the 1984 election, I would have been seven years old. I went to the polling place with my mom, and I got into a conversation with her, and it's sort of a joke in the family. I yelled out loud, Mom, don't vote for Walter Mondale. And that's like a really taboo thing. You're not supposed to, like, once you actually show up to vote, no one's supposed to be campaigning or anything. Oh, okay, like, right. You know? <laughs> and I'm sure people just laughed. Why did a seven-year-old say that? But why did I say that? Why did I have it in my head that Ronald Reagan was the only choice for America? Yeah. Just because kids think stupid shit. And get you don't really think attacked. because you just straight up heard somebody, you know what I mean, like telling another adult. Oh, probably. Must yeah, because I feel like. Must have. But it wasn't, that, it obviously wasn't my parents that told me fuck Walter Mondale or else I would right. have been arguing and I don't even honestly I have no idea who my mom voted for she might have voted for right. me anyway yeah I just feel again when kids are little I first you know when you, you talk to your friend the, your little kid comes over and tries to talk when he can't speak English and he's like no 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 because he's like dad stands there and talks to other dudes mm -hmm. so I'm going to stand over here and, and be a part of it like I remember my yeah. son copying that yeah so you're a little older and you're you know I mean you hear that Trump is, you know, man, blah, 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 blah. you know, he's gonna ruin a goddamn country. You know, he's telling his wife, you know, who's in the kitchen and thinks Tiki's playing a video game, but he's not. Yeah. Or he's he is, but he can hear it all, and he's got, you know, he's a monster. And I'm like, okay. But it also could be this is the other difference I think in the in today's media is there are people on TV that say that he's a monster. It never used to be that way. I mean, I just saw a promo this morning for a cartoon about like. Miss Dumb Dumb Trump the cartoon like mm -hmm. he's the president and there is a TV show out of a cartoon Trump who's a moron mm -hmm. and it's a show it's a TV show is it a wait a cartoon or a live action it's, it's a, a cartoon. cartoon okay because there's the Comedy Central show too Nicole Burr wrote a fucking com a, 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 a cartoon comedy sketch mm -hmm. about Donald Trump oh and he just walks around he's, he's like super fake tanned and and, you know, cartoon making fun of him, and he talks about what a great guy is and how tremendous he is to everybody, and they're all bored. Like it's a constant. It's just a fucking. Looks like it's a it's a show about how dumb the president is, and it's on TV. That's that's new. they didn't do that back in the day, did they? Uh, there was. Did they do a tricky dicky cartoon about how dumb he was? There was a show uh, that didn't do very well. The South Park guys made um, called "That's My Bush" about George W. Bush. Oh okay. Oh fuck, sorry. He was probably was he the first dumb one where everyone was making fun of him and he, no, you know, he filming so. once well, and all that shit kind of fucked him a little bit. Well, they always just exaggerate whatever the the, the one note characterization I mean, is Bill wanted to eat I remember Saturday Night Live right, yeah, making was, fun of Bill wanted to go to McDonald's, McDonald's all the time. Wanted to fuck everybody, but um, That's crazy, wanted to fuck everybody cause. <laughs> Ronald Reagan was yeah, like the, the simple-minded guy you know who, who wasn't really up to the the task of doing serious work and, and they would people little, would say that the media was saying that yeah and then chevy okay. chase used to fall off of ladders as gerald ford oh really yeah okay okay so, yeah it's been going on it's been going on for forever it just seems the media tv entertainment are definitely one-sided as to oh yeah so I, i've never seen a show, well, you know that's not true because I think that WWE is a is a big showing for Trump and a, and a, a big, you know, I mean a Hollywood supporter of Trump. You know, I mean I feel oh, like yeah, I'm, no, Melinda McMahon is in the administration, right? You know, but they're, I, but start, I, they're starting a football league. Yeah, again, no, yeah Andrew told me. Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm aware. But which and they're all going to stand up. Yes, just, just I know. All, every coincidence, everything they're doing coincidentally happens to be exactly what Donald Trump wants to happen in the NFL. Right, right. And so. Donald Trump's got a huge boner against the NFL because he was part of a league that tried to take them down years ago. Oh, so that's why he trashes them in the first place. He owned a team in the USFL that had a big lawsuit uh, against the NFL, and the USFL won their lawsuit against the NFL, and they were awarded one dollar in damages. 
How'd that work? Well, I I, I forget the specifics oh, of it, anyway. but they won. They, they they pretty much won the battle, but lost. The war. <laughs> he didn't seem like the kind of guy that let stuff like that go either. No, absolutely not. Okay, well, that's. Uh, I mean, I mean, you're talking about you know when I hear that some assholes attacking a bunch of assholes. Neither here nor there for me. You know what I mean? Like you're okay, saying, yeah. he's, he's fucking with the NFL. I don't give a fuck. Hope the NFL <coughs> fuck with him back too. I don't. You know no, what they're, mean? They, all, they're both. They're slime. all massive assholes, and, and and that's something that I think people have got to get a get over. Is as soon as you go, oh, you know, guy A is an asshole. People are like, oh, I bet you love person B because they're like the the enemy of person A. And I'm like, that doesn't. I didn't say that. Like, they're all a bunch of fucking assholes. I don't see. I don't really see a good guy in this national debate. Right. Tom Brady's a good guy, though, right? I think so. No. I think he probably has some dubious ideas about sports medicine. Like, oh, what do you mean? A lot of the stuff. That, oh, because he doesn't eat tomatoes and shit. Yeah, and right. he's got a whole book on it, and uh, most of the stuff is not really uh, rigorously scientifically evaluated. Uh, it might just be in his mind a little bit. You know, it works for him. So, who is to say? I do know, like his well, it's kind of like when Michael Jordan said that he had a twelve ounce steak and two ginger ales before every game, what and then and say? then a guy like me had a twelve ounce steak <laughs> and two ginger ales and fucked myself in like ten contests because well, that was a bad the, move. The difference is, did Michael Jordan say everybody would be better at basketball if they had? Okay, yeah, no, he didn't. He sure didn't. No, right. Man, he hinted to so it. Shitty. I mean, he said. Before every game, well, I will not play without my steak, 12 ounce steak, and two ginger ales. Two! Because the second one after a 12 ounce steak, it's fucking, it gets, it's hard. And then someone brought it to me that he was twice as big as me. And I was like, oh, yeah. That's true. 6'8, I think. Yeah. Right. And Wade Boggs ate chicken before every single baseball game he ever played. He ate what? Chicken. Oh, for okay. every single he did it one time in the minor leagues and he went out and got like three hits and so he ate chicken before every single game for the rest of his career my dude it's, the, it's, it's, all, it, I, it's almost like it's it, you can't fight it You're like when when something like because as a guy that has been a, an athlete that whole thing where <coughs> you think it worked and you think that if you go about it that way again mm-hmm. uh, to me uh, I'll have huge arguments with myself yeah. about Okay, if you do it, don't forget to tap your foot before. And I'll be like, dude, fucking, let's be fucking rational here. Just fuck that off and go in the goddamn ramp. And then the next time I'll forget, and sure enough, I'll tap the thing and fucking do the thing before I go in. Like, it's like a, it's a, a programmed. I, I, you know, I told you, I used to always put my pads on a certain way. I used to warm up a certain way. When I was really at my best, there was like a whole routine, and I would not uh, divert from it. And it was, and I didn't get it from anyone. I didn't read a fucking book, so you know I didn't cop anyone. Mm-hmm. But then when I heard other people that had their things, I'm like, oh, it's sort of like a, you, it's like you, cre- it's like a, a comfort blanket. You do the things that you know are gonna be the the things you've always done, so that when you get to the bit that is the mystery, yeah, you, all your all your things have been covered. You've checked all your, yeah. what is it? You dotted the eyes and. Cross your T's. Yeah. Well, I think everybody. Yeah, I, Andrew. Fundamentally, <laughs> coming in there. One, one question: Would it be surprising, or do you think a guy, say Humphrey, there's supposedly a, a starting NBA point guard that smokes cigarettes before the game at halftime or right now? Yeah. Would that surprise you? No. Well, wait. Does he does he smoke like? I feel it would be if he was on the bench. Does he smoke constantly throughout the day, but he gets one more in before the game, or does he just smoke two cigarettes constantly per day? That's yeah, surprising to me. Uh, is he a guy who kind of plays from like three point line to three point line? He's a he's a euro. Well, yeah. that goes without saying. So. Okay, okay, the, okay. <laughs> I think it's I think it's I'll say it's a little bit surprising, but cardio. If you smoke cigarettes, you can still have cardio if you train constantly. Like I have seen video of Nate Diaz smoke a. A fucking giant blunt, not a pipe like you know how you're supposed to protect your lungs. A big old dirty shit doobie with zigzags, not even thin papers, and just rip the fuck out of that thing on his way to a uh, um, what is it when you fucking cycle and swim and shit? Like a uh, yeah, yeah, like just him and his brother just burn mad doobies all day, and then mad doobie, and then swim pedal. And crank and fucking out cardio everybody because 
I that that's how I figured it out because I was like, you smoke weed or you smoke a cigarette and then you sit down and have a meal. These guys smoke a cigarette and work out. These guys smoke a joint and work out. So it's it's um it's kind of like uh. How can you get away with eating fucking McDonald's every day? You could get away with it if you were 25 to 28. You could eat McDonald's every day. If you train like a fucking asshole, man, go to Saxon's Muay Thai in the Valley, everybody, if you're living in California. If anybody is listening who lives in California, go there five days a week. You can have anything that the world makes. You can go on the food things on Instagram where it says, eat this thing where it's a fucking egg cup with chocolate inside a thing. With inside a... You can eat that for dinner. Every day, and you would not be fat. It's just that we're all like, man, I smoked some weed, I ate a burger, I got a bit chubby. Not if you do four a days. Not if you roll on the on the ground and punch people in the face and run and sprint and pedal bikes all day, every day. I think it also helps if you don't stop. Like, I think it's way worse to, if you're going to smoke cigarettes, smoke <laughs> cigarettes all the time. If you're going to eat McDonald's and be an athlete, like, eat McDonald's all the time if, if you were like a perfect physical specimen and then just decided to have a big mac on fight day oh you know, okay so, yeah, yeah 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 no i'm not yeah obviously you don't want to do it all the time but it, it's a shock to your body if you don't do it all the time yeah and you're talking about a guy that smokes <coughs> a cigarette he loves cigarettes so when he smokes a cigarette it calms him down before he yeah. plays the game and that cigarette did not like gas him out you know like it, it's you know you guys still have timeouts and shit it's not a marathon you know It'd be different if Lance Armstrong told me that he smoked a cigarette from time to time, because I feel like... I bet he does now. I hope he does now. I bet he does more than that now. I know, right? I hope he drinks drowns his sorrows every night. Poor bastard. Um, I bet he goes to the bathroom a lot, too. <laughs> I'm not leaving that. But I also feel like, you know, you, you train, a certain, live a certain way, then your cardi... I don't, I don't, what I'm saying is I don't think that that basketball dude is um, bad yet. Because that was the other thing. I had times there where I would smoke bongs and skate and get drunk and skate. And then all of a sudden, uh, 30 came and drinking, you know, in a bottle of vodka at the club before the contest was like a guaranteed you're not making the 10 cut. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I used to yeah. be buzzed and still be good. And then 31, 32, every fucking year from 30, uh, any other <laughs> drug would, those things would start to interfere. And, and ruin things, and then and then you could just and then you could just be sober, and if you didn't stretch and shit, oh, a little hell broke loose. Yeah, well, Tito Dosic also got like hurt for the entire season, like four minutes into the first game, so he could smoke all he wants. And Euros get away with that shit. There's some yeah, guns, to smoke. right? That makes sense. Look at his fucking face. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the? Why is your yeah, black guy, rings under your eyes? This like it's a human dish rag. He really is. It's, Vlade, is he still out there? Vlade is uh, running the Sacramento Kings, last I heard. No! Yeah, very poorly. Probably going to be fired. Well, it's amazing he got the job in the first place. Yeah, well, he was owed something. He didn't know how trades worked the first time he made a trade. It was pretty... Oh, pretty wow. Brutal. Yeah, tough for, tough for Sacktown. Wow. Yep, yep. Vlade. Got I liked him. Terrific uh, Croatian, Bosnian, American. It was weird. I hated him. And then I just became... I, he, he To me... What's the guy that is the spy guy, the French spy guy that hangs out with the little girl that has the same haircut as my wife? He's like that Inspector guy. Gadget? No, he's a real per human being <laughs> in a movie. The Professional? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he reminds me of The Professional. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Leon. Leon! Mm -hmm. Possible, eh? I shoot you. In the mouth. Natalie Portman was talking about the being in The Professional the other day at one of those women's marches about how just immediately people started talking about her as a sex object. She was like 12. Oh, because she was cute in yeah, it? Yeah, right. Oh, man. And just, you know, she was, you know... I've never actually heard an Olsen twin or whatever talk about what it's like when she's like, yeah, I was there There were radio stations that were counting down to my 18th birthday. What yeah. the fuck is that? Yeah, well, look, I've always seen... That, that was the weird... I've... I feel like I'm the odd man out because I feel like a lot of people would say that. I was always like, wait, what? That's fucking... And I'm talking before I ever had a kid. I was just like, I don't want to fuck a, uh, an 18-year-old. I don't want to... Ba I don't want to... I don't see the cool thing about I am now ready legally to be fucked. That one never... And yes, I will brag about that because I have so many other afflictions. I, I, I'm really fucking pretty pumped on myself for being like, like, oh yeah, she's about to turn 18. That's not really that interesting. I guess it's okay if you're 19. 
I have done the, whoa, that chick's super hot, and someone's like, dude, she's fucking 17. I'm like, ugh, gross. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 But, on that one, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, we can keep talking about stuff, but it's about time to take a break. We can do that, too. I'm not scared to do either one, Michael. So we're back in just over 30 seconds. Um, what would you like to do? Just do this trap shit. Okay. Uh, you're enjoying could kill you i saw that and as a guy that drinks coffee it says california and i get my caveman coffee from arizona i believe i mean sorry uh albuquerque no you think that's gonna save you no i don't know I, I are you about to tell me that now now 
Coffee causes cancer, like cigarettes? Well, coffee has probably always caused cancer. They're just trying to get it to be labeled as such. Oh. Do you know when you go into, I don't know if you ever notice this, occasionally you'll go into a place and there'll be a little sign on the wall that says, um, this place has stuff that's been known to cause cancer. So just FYI, just throwing that out there. Yeah. There's this shit that, uh, what's the name of it? It's a chemical called acrylamide. Yeah. That is created when coffee beans are roasted. And it um, is mildly cancer-causing. And it, it, nobody's saying that they want to outlaw coffee, but they um, there is a, uh, a lawsuit saying people have a right to know that a byproduct of roping of roasting coffee is this uh, this shit that is cancer causing and um, it's it's likely that the health benefits of coffee outweigh the negative risks and since the benefits are so mild that leads me to believe that the risk is very mild. What about the coffee that comes out of a of a monkey's butt? It's all about roasting it. I happen to be reading a book. Is there a way where you can organically roast it? God, I'm so LA. Yeah. It's not. It's not a chemical that gets added. You to can't it. get it out, can you, Michael? It's a thing that happens from roasting. It's like a natural. I feel like it's a little <laughs> bit like how, uh, like grilling meat is a carcinogen. Well, if I have to ride it, then I have to ride <coughs> it because yeah. I'm not getting out. Yeah, you gotta. You have to very literally pick your poisons, and I choose that one as well. But yeah, if if it's cancer causing, people have a right to know. That's yeah. the other thing. Yeah, hey, so. let's smoke. Yeah, smoke them if you got them. So are we gonna do this thing? We made songs. Man, I'm. I, I know. I don't know if Betsy saw, but I, when I got to work today, I tried to be out in the sun for a second, and I saw Betsy sitting on a bench, and I saw her head moving back like she was Eminem working on a on an album, mm-hmm. and I realized that it it was this torturous thing that I um, <laughs> tried to do this morning, and uh, my wife tried to help me, and and I was like, you're not helping. By trying to, you know, like, she's just, like, saying words, and I'm like, it's not, you, you, you can't be a part of this. Like, I have to, you know what I mean? Like, you, 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 me, like, taking your idea into thought is making me not think of anything. You gotta leave me alone here, and it got to the point where I just wanted to get it out and dump, because I'm, I'm bad at this stuff. I know I am. I, I mean, instead of, hopefully somebody else like Andrew, this, the rapping star comes through, but I was like, I've got to make a rhyme, and I was just like, I fucking hate this song. I fucking I'm not gonna be. I, know, I, I really kind of bash myself about it. I don't think. I don't think the aim is to be good. But I don't know if anybody necessarily yeah, wanna, wants to hear us do a good song. Okay, maybe want to hear misunderstanding us eat me. Shit. I didn't mean. I don't think that I have a chance of you know being at the MTV Awards. I'm saying. I can't even write a fucking rhyme, man. Like two words that rhyme. Like I was just like, oh, this is not my calling. Well, maybe. Rhyming. Is Will doing it? He is, yes. Okay, because it's not all that critical to making trap music. Somebody, uh, by the way, did transcribe my entire rap battle with John Matthews, and it's on like a rap genius like page that takes <laughs> notes of like rap battles. Oh, it's, cool! Yeah, it's great. Someone tried to tell me that you was saying that uh, we helped you with your shit. Like someone was trying to say on social media that he's on his show bitching, saying that your shit was. Oh no! Yeah, none of you guys helped me. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that hey, didn't happen. You made the same accusation against John, though that he, he had help with his stuff. Yeah, he did. The, the, <laughs> like for people listening, John's eyebrows went up multiple times as lines I, finished. We all that was, like, saw it. Just the weird okay, thing about we it. We all okay. More than one of us saw this bit where he would say the line and go, "Wow, really?" Uh, I think that was I, I. I saw that too. I kind of registered that when I first saw it as him realizing he was putting out a really corny. Line and then just be like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I, I, I took it as him going, God, I, I, now that it's coming out of my mouth, I, I regret this. <laughs> Which is a hallmark of so many great MCs. <laughs> yeah. So, are people making comments on your stuff? Then are they able to? Uh, I think you are able to. I, I can tweet out the link on the the Jason Ellis Show Twitter account. Um, once we finish up with this next musical journey. Because I mean, I, I, I was really surprised that it was that close. I thought you blew John away. And that's not me being like, oh, well, we're on the same show, so I'm going to stick up for you. Like, Yeah, you it really Andrew. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like at the, your, true, <laughs> your second verse, you kind of spanked him. You had some really funny jabs, and you were talking about like jizzing down his throat and stuff. Yeah. And I feel like John's rhymes were 
kind of weak. So that was why I never thought John had any help because it was like who, who, who could have helped him make subpar rhymes? Also, I thought, I, 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 I thought John was winning after Andrew's first verse. I yeah, know, right? and then I thought Andrew won after his second verse. So it was really hard for me to say because if I'm ranking verses, John came in second, right. Andrew came in first and last. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, if you had left it at the first verse, we would have been yeah. still here rap battling. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jude said when I ran into him yesterday in the hallway that he was very happy with what I did and was very proud of it and thought I won. So okay. I will take that off the air okay. compliment from Jude as being uh, suffice enough for my rap career to kind of end right I'm there. I'm trying to organize another rap battle with another person, I, and I pitched them that they might have to battle you, and I haven't got an email back from her, so... They must have seen your article on that hip-hop website. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what it was. I didn't know. You're cemented in fucking hip-hop yeah. history. Uh, Buzz not going first. No, me neither. Not, oh, uh, not me. Oh, Betsy. <laughs> Shmoo, you should have seen her, man. I was just like fucking the eight mile on the fucking <laughs> bench. <laughs> and she went. She decided to go with her own bed, too. Yeah, so they're on the games Wait, page. You can do... This is bull! I didn't know you could do that. I hate. I have. I have What's it on? More out of touch to a genre. I don't know. I may. Have, I may be like the embarrassing, like when the old people try to like still do the rap cadence from the '80s guy, or I may be the best trap artist that's ever lived. Like I have yeah. no idea. Yeah. I went to Wikipedia and read about it. And oh, that's where all the trap rappers yeah, right? go. And then I went and watched an hour of YouTube videos. So I said that, well, my takeaway is that the females seem angry and vaguely threatening. So that's It's not going to be about firemen and shit, is it? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> it's about arson. What's it on? Uh, the, the, it the, games, the games page has... Oh, it's the, the other side. The other yeah, side the other of side. the fire. All right. All right. Games page, okay. Yeah, Betsy has her own uh, button for it. Betsy's oh, God, trap music. Go. Yeah. You ready? Born ready. Okay. <laughs> it's like Jethro Tull. Look at shit. Why is this so fucking different? You want to read? You want to do it? Here we go. You know what it is? You took that first part out. Uh, that, that's throwing me off. I'm Andrew, like, can you not funny. try to yeah. fucking sabotage your competitors? Took a chance, changed my life, run into resistance. You're trying to take my dream from me, you owe me your existence. Wasn't getting very far, wasn't moving very fast. You thought you saw the best of me, but you ain't seen my last. Strike a match, light up this joint, it's time for me to take my turn. So if you're smarter than you think, I'm gonna watch your world burn. Strike a match, light up this trap, listen, watch and learn. So much smarter than you think, you done lost your turn. I've been around this block. I know these mean streets well. I heard it all before. You got nothing left to sell. So get your ass off my front porch and figure out your shit. I'll be minding my own business and spitting my next hit. You thought you got the best of me, sneaking and all lying. Truth, I got more game than you and I ain't hardly trying. So tuck that tail, hide your face, turn around and run. You guys say my name, but they're gonna fuck me. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what's up. I, I tell you what, though, without yeah. the without the laughing, if that was uh, a sample on New Music uh, Wednesday, I got that. for the the trap section, I I believe that. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't. I I want to be. That's ridiculous. I don't know what it was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was good, Betsy. But holy <laughs> shit! Even though, even though uh, I can't actually. I'm not sure what trap music is. Kate, that was the other thing. Katie was trying to play. This is trap music, and I was like, that's not what I'm here to learn. It's I, the I humbly have, stuff. I have to make a rap, and then that's it. Don't give me. I don't need to like do the archives of where trap came from. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like, just give me. Okay. Like, Andrew gave me a bed. I'm gonna make a song to it. That's yeah, the I end went, of it. I went through the history, and then you get to like now it's like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, and they're pretty much holding up the game. So I wait. Oh, I'm they're sure. trap music. Yeah, I oh, think they're like fuck. part of that whole thing, at least as far as I could tell. I, I feel know. like their 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 solo stuff kind of isn't. Well, maybe maybe Cardi B, but like yeah. I feel like Nicki Minaj is more mainstream stuff. But when she goes on other people's tracks, it seems to be she does guest spots on trap songs. 
Uh, but who knows? Yeah, I'm a fucking out of touch 35 year old yeah. white dude trying to chime in on trap music. And that's why you're yeah. next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Oh, moo, 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 flippity flubbity plumps, flippity flubbity plumps, flippity flubbity plumps, flippity flubbity plumps. Hello, stupid buttholes. Here's some stupid fucking music. Oh, giant dildo, and I'm not afraid to use it. Fuck, fuck. This shit right here is gonna make me famous. If you don't like it, I will fuck your fucking anus. Why do I sound like I've got the fucking hiccups? I blow dudes in trucks that are pickups. I have a boner, so what is the deal? I'll fart in your mouth and call it a meal. Goo goo gaga poo poo mimi doo doo kaka pee pee. Why are rappers rich? This is super fucking easy. Uh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this track. I couldn't get this track to come through on my email. Which is I was gonna say, I thought you, like, you couldn't understand this track. I was like, that's because you a white lady. No, 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 I totally understand. Man, I can't understand it. I couldn't do it. Anticipation's killing me. I want to go next. Oh, damn. I'm so like, uh, oh, sweet. I'm gonna have a heart attack if we don't. <laughs> <sighs> my name, my uh, <coughs> trap name is because I'm from Alabama. Hick up. No one starts the song like this, but go ahead. Oh. Yes. Right. I hang up the phone and drive myself home and take melatonin. Then I start zoning out of my head. All of those meds. I lay down into bed. Sleep like I'm dead. Get some holistic, bombastic, smearing lipstick. Fantastic. Stab it with a nice pick. Under skin like ticks. Please it with my nice dick. Straight up hit. Oh! <laughs> Did you have an eye stick? No, I have a nice. A nice stick? Or a nice stick. I'm not really sure. I couldn't hear it. Man, it could be all three. Having a nice dick is super <laughs> trap, yo. So is an ice dick. <laughs> That could also mean your your dick is made out of meth. Seems like just about yeah. anything is trap. That's sort of the problem. You're afraid to do absolutely anything in the world. Yeah, as long as it's monotonous and has that like hiccup, iambic pentameter thing going to oh, it. Oh, like hiccup? Yeah, yeah. he's great. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My palms are sweating. I know. That's God a, damn it! I don't want to be. Mom spaghetti. Yeah, got it. <coughs> I smoke lots of weed and get high like bumble bees. Yo, damn my shit is tight and you old like Betty White. Yo, I'm like puffin' bottles, fucking Jay-Z penny models. Smash that pussy, <laughs> put my sperm in. Turtles just call me Pee Wee Herman. Ha! I get fucking laid when it's snowing. Ride a sleigh. Yo, bitch, you give me roses? No, you shit like halitosis. You, <laughs> when I come, you better swallow. Yo, you cute like a koala. Yo, bitches, they all love me. Yo, I like tea with honey. Yo, I get angry like a savage. Crush your skull like it's a cabbage. <laughs> I go on vacation. You go on probation. Uh. Eat my skank. Uh. Eat my skank for me. <laughs> Eat my skank. Yeah. Oh, oh, fucking sick. <laughs> That's sick. It's called the Andrew, you're too good. Skank. You're going last. So. Oh, no, I'm not good. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> is two rhymes in one week. It's what everybody's waiting for. <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the current hip hop champion in the room. So you're really. I mean, take me <laughs> off of that at any time. <laughs> Smoking. Mother is lit. Show me your tits. Mother is lit. Look at my dick. Murder is lit. Woo! Brrr! 
<laughs> rolling a blunt. A hundred rubbing the cunt. Living the wood shit. I wish I could. Eh! Real fuck. Fire's real. Stick a banana peel. Stabbing a cut. Fit the spinners I nut. Gangster boobs. Death to YouTube. <laughs> As a panel. Show these fucking bitches. Watch my channel. It's time to go. So fuck you hoes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot going on in there with the fidget spinners and living in the woods. I Very said topical. gangster boobs. <laughs> said lit. Gangster boobs. I also said 100. I caught that. You could thanks. all the bases. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. Yep. thanks. Yeah, I think this just proves how all these little dudes are fucking just stealing money. Or, this shit's or, easy. Or yeah, you might want to play the tape back. Yeah, you might yeah. Find, you might in find fact, it. I think we want to record this next section of Andrew and then upload it to that website so people can get a second taste of Andrew. Man, if I get my own rap career out of this week, oof. Korea. So far, <laughs> you guys better watch out. <laughs> Fucking wearing bling. Scrap! Meow! Hip up! Hip up! Scrap! Pew pew! Scrap! Meow! Scrap! Scrap! Meow! Scrap! 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 I just want a churro. Scrap! Doesn't have to be plural. Scrap! I'll even ride a burrow. Scrap! For that cinnamon sweet taste. Scrap! May help me feel my face. Scrap! Because these pills are laced. Scrap! And my legs won't even work. Scrap! So I'm not going to be able to twerk. Scrap! I'm going to bed after I jerk it. Scrap! And I'm tired and this ain't a hit. Now let me go take a shit. Scrap! Meow! Skip! Rock! Whoop! <laughs> Wait, that's it? Hey. Oh, wow. I mean, it all sounds as stupid to me as the real shit. What am I missing? Uh, I think we quite a bit. Greatest of all time. Eating a burrito, can't fill my face. That was a churro? Or use my legs to twerk. Yes, got it. Yeah, not your best. <laughs> but then again, you did just drop a fucking single uh, this yes, week, so. True. I mean, what are you? Yeah, just supposed to pump out constant hits? It doesn't make me want to eat a churro. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about when I wrote it. Oh, really? Yeah, I, was like, I really wanted a churro. <laughs> fucking smoking weed again? <laughs> no, uh, no. So who wins? Wait, there's a winner? <laughs> yeah, who gets the trophy? Uh, okay, uh, eight five five L's forty one. Or, or no. call Jude Show and ask him. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, the winner is all of us because it's over. The lister. Yeah, right. Stay, stay, Will and Please, Cool don't Beans. Leave us in here. <laughs> Chuck Norris. You got some more salsa, Betsy? Chuck Norris is suing CBS and Sony for thirty million dollars in past and future Walker Texas Ranger profits. That wait, seems timely. Walks it. Wait, Walker Texas Ranger does a a thing. I'm not familiar with. It's in. Uh, oh, sorry. It's in reruns. Wait, wait. I don't understand why Chuck Berry gets money. Chuck Norris. Oh, Chuck <laughs> Norris. Yeah, totally uh, repeat I was like, man, wasn't he dead anyway? He died, right? How could like I? When was the last time that show re-aired? I don't see it on like the ch the cable okay, guy anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It You're is? not watching. Oh, it is. He's like Mash. Also worldwide. I mean, you got to know that this show is like super mm. popular in Germany or something. That reminds <laughs> me. People will from time to time send me uh, a video of the Wild World of Spike being played in. Um, Okay, but I'm but I'm seeing it on TV in uh, what's the place that they made the city? Like Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. yeah. Oh. Like a, a guy filmed his hotel room and it was a wild water spot on TV <laughs> and then out the window in Dubai. Like I'm like what? Like they put it on TV. Yeah, this shit can live forever. Look, you'd have to know the details of Chuck Norris's original deal with everybody. To because begin with. it's possible it's, he's getting fucked over. It's possible he's out of his mind. But if he's getting, but if he's getting fucked over and it's part of the deal that he agreed to, then it doesn't make any difference. He's fucked anyway, right? Yeah, if somebody's making money and well, oh yeah, yeah, that's true too. But if uh, if, if if somebody's making money and he is entitled to a greater share of it, it gets kind of complicated. It seems like he's his company or his people are sort of accusing CBS and Sony Pictures of. Um, trying to push the show on demand and less 
it through streaming sales or something because he makes money from one and not from the other. I don't know. The, the, the details get kind of dry pretty quickly. But anyway. You Sounds like he's got a great team. Yeah. 30 mil. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. You can buy the whole season of The Wild World of Spike for $8, everybody. On Amazon? Yeah. Because I'm going to do that. I mean, I might be the only person that wants to watch that. You may as well. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's you know, I'm sorry but for the kid. That's Daddy's TV show of that he had. Yeah. With his fucking racist friend. With Kit and with, uh... <laughs> yeah, but enough about Sam Trippett. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. I mean, there's stuff on there that I don't even... We, we, we went to a fake wave? Fuck. I don't remember, remember that. that. Nah. Tony. Man, I'm going to have fun. Wait, with Tony? Yeah. Man, they owe me. Like, how'd they... 30 million. How'd they, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, fuck, wild. I'm actually going to watch that. That's wild. I don't remember any of that. I can remember DVRing the first episode. Look, we're at a dominatrix. Before I was yeah. into it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That might be the season finale right there. Season finale, man. The show ending episode. Yeah, there's cliffhangers that still haven't been resolved for, right? <laughs> In other TV news, I love bringing these things up. If people have done scummy things, sexual or otherwise, and they get called out for it, well, they ought to. But when they are cleared of those things, it ought to also be news. And yeah! Case, Ryan Seacrest has been cleared by E! Entertainment Television of um, accusations of sexually inappropriate actions by a woman who I think was a hairdresser who worked with him about ten years ago. At the time, he said, come on, I'm motherfucking Ryan Seacrest. All I do is work with women. I'm basically a glorified woman myself. I'm yeah. paraphrasing. And I've always wanted to create a really great environment for the women that I work with. And this is so... If somebody took something the wrong way, I feel really badly that I'm going to be vindicated. And E says, yes, they've done an internal uh, investigation. And if you want to, you know, speculate, well, who does... Does E want to find something wrong with Ryan Seacrest? Or does want to, does E want to find that some hairdresser that doesn't work for him anymore is the one is lying? I don't know. All I can tell you is that he was accused and he has been cleared. They don't. They definitely don't want to clear him, only to find out later that uh, they were wrong. Right, because so then, then it would then it would defame the, the whole company. Yeah. yeah. So good. good. Yeah. We should yeah. definitely let people know when people have been cleared. Yeah, you should make a really big deal out of it because I feel like that's from watching Law and Order. It's almost a guarantee that they don't bring up that you didn't do it afterwards. It's just you're accused, and that's the end of it. It's true. He doesn't seem like the type of guy who would be very good at sexually harassing people either. <laughs> Like, hey, would you like to see my weenie? That's, like, what the? that's amazing. It's a perfect impersonation. <laughs> no, but I, I was thinking about this this you morning. You're going to be like penis out or something? <laughs> oh, that would be a good one. Yeah. I was thinking this morning that, it, you know, in, the, in a court of law, I think it's way easier to get off from something that you did than it used to be. Because back in olden times people thought oh if the police arrested you you must have done it if you're sitting in the chair you must have done it now people are less trusting of the government less trusting of you know police and all that so less trusting of authority so I think it's easier for you to get away with something now in court than it used to be yeah well uh, maybe not I think maybe we all know that it's easier to get away with it now I think, like, now, because of the movies and TV and actual, like, celebrities that have done crimes and got away with it, that we're all aware that there are lawyers out there that can get, literally, you off murder. Yeah. So, that, I, th- I think that's probably happened for years, but we didn't know that, but now it's so many times that we're like, wait a minute, I mean, the OJ and all these other people that are super rich where they're, you know, th- this thing goes for such a long time, and in the end, he might not, I'm like, come on. I was really, really, I've served on a jury a few times, and I, I always came away from that being um, really happy with that experience in that all the people there are really smart, they reason things out, and they were really good at it, you know? I, I would, Your fellow jurors. Yes, uh, yeah, okay. totally. So um, It wasn't like one guy that like... Had like Cheeto stains on his t shirt, and just like, I can't make up my mind. One I angry know, man. I just don't trust that guy. I know they found him holding a bloody gun, but there's just something that doesn't seem right to me. 
The minute I saw him, I knew he was guilty. Right. Uh, yeah, He's got no, that guilty look. Everybody I mean? reasoned things out, and it was great. I, I had way more confidence in our judicial system. I'm glad to that. hear that. Yeah. Well, uh, the judicial system seems to have worked where it comes to that uh, that Olympic trainer guy who did horrible things oh, to all those girls. Yes. So you guys saw the video today of the dad who tried to attack him in court. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, the only thing that wasn't awesome, awesome about it is that the they 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 stopped him. Well, and also that his daughter, who was I'm assuming the victim, was there telling him not to do it when he did it. And of course she was. He was overcome with emotion and grief and anger. Yeah, that's terrible. I think, yeah. but uh, you know, it, it, st- it wasn't. Great. He's he's the it wasn't. He's not he the father of three. Yeah. yeah. Right. He molested <laughs> three of them. Yeah. All three of his daughters. Yep. I'm so the only bad thing about it was that he kind of gave him a bit of a warning by saying, "Can I have five minutes with him? Yeah. What about just one minute?" He should have just said nothing and got it. Uh, look, I, I I know it's not right, but like as a father. Yeah. yeah if he was not, like, if he was like, uh, I have something I would like to say to the court. Oh my God! What is that over there? And then look, he just charges. I thought about it. I was like, Is it right to give him one minute? Yeah, it is right. But if you gave everybody one minute with people that were rapists and murderers then we'd all get this feeling that it would be okay to just pull somebody limb from limb when they did some bad stuff. Like, I feel like it's instinctively... Like, that father would kill that guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. No, yeah, yeah. And, tom- and tomorrow he'd kill that guy. Yes. He's a guy. He's a citizen. He's not a murderer. Right. But he's ready to murder that guy whenever you give him a chance to. Uh, uh, and, he, and, and he's in his... And, and I don't blame him. And I, I don't think get in trouble. I don't think anybody blame. I don't think he'll go to jail for the night or anything. But I don't think he will. If I was the judge, I'd be like, "Here you go. Here's a lead pipe. You get a few minutes in the room over there. Well, lead pipe. That door. lead pipe is murder. Like, but you know, what do you give no, him? No, they could break his legs. Give him forty five seconds. Like, let him to, let him just beat him up for a bit. I would want to hit him in the head. I'd hit him. In, I'd start with the feet. I don't know. I, look, it's not right to. You can't. You can't have. We can't say it's okay to to be violent because then. I'm telling you, like if if they literally changed the rule and was like, let him let him do that, and then we see that, and then say somebody does it down the road, and then somebody maybe somebody beats a girl on the street, and I see it, I feel like seeing things where this guy could, was allowed to beat the victim, sorry, allowed to beat the um the uh, scumbag the scumbag <laughs> then I, I would more people would be inclined to like unleash on people in public I sure. think I really think it would be a bad idea to as much as I it was irrational when I watched it I was like let him get yeah. get him no, but, but but is it part of our judicial system shouldn't. supposed to be uh, that it's supposed to prevent people from taking those sorts of actions make them think twice before they do something I bet you that would make people think twice before they did something I, I understand that but there are other ways what about public lashings you bring that down <laughs> I you know what look it, it, look it, dude I, honestly I, I know public lashing they did do it at one point but if you if you raped 170 women and you are proven to do that are we really animals if we all agree to fucking tear this thing down and that's like we kill him we fucking rock him. Yes, yeah, everybody throw the, rocks at him. Like it's, it's barbaric. It's ridiculous. How barbaric is a guy that fucking rapes 170 yeah. underage girls? And it's not even just that. Like, look at you know those all those girls were victims, and then it goes off like this this fucking guy. Like this dude's destroyed. All the people in their families are destroyed. Yeah. It spreads like no, he took something away from them they yeah. can never have back. But while he wants to get an iron pipe to the guy, what he should do is just find someone in the prison who will do it later on oh they're gonna do it but it's not the same you yeah, know kid I mean? if, I found out, do too if someone molested my kid and I found out in jail that he got murdered and raped in jail I'm like well that's cool but I wanna do it right has anybody made the movie where the dad like gets himself sent to jail just so he can be in jail to kill the guy wait he puts him in jail with the like the dad tries they put... to get sentenced to the same jail so right. he can kill the guy they would not would they not would they catch that and like? Well, the... this guy probably can't. Pull right, that off. right, right. But but if somebody, you know, what I mean, if they tried to pull that scam, would they be like, hey, just so you know, this guy who's in here? No, they wouldn't. He could probably do it. I would, as long as he didn't show his hand blatantly. Right. It looks like it's airing live right now that the court is not going to punish this dude, the dad. Good. Yeah. No, of course. <clears throat> I mean, you cannot blame him. It's like when they have that temporary insanity thing, and you yeah. ask any father. Uh, put a molester of your children in front of you, yeah. and 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 like nobody from any 
walk of life could cannot understand where this father is coming right. from. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, he he's a big man too. He's a big man. And he's like, look, I, you know, what I mean, I, I feel like he probably thinks he failed them in a way. Like he did. He, obviously, he didn't. How was anyone supposed to know something so horrendous could exist? But you know, he it was he really. It's funny because he really tried to ask the judge sincerely. Just give me five minutes with him. Okay, okay, give me one. Yeah, and then he went, okay, give me one. <laughs> yeah. yep. Can I just give him a noogie? <coughs> yeah. There was also a sentencing for the um, the teenager who was responsible for the Slender Man killing. I don't know. I, don't, I forgot. What's that? So Slender Man is a fictional internet oh. character, and this girl who was deranged took it seriously and thought that she had to kill her friend. But she was deranged, but she was not a, in a mental institute. She was just a normal kid, right? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is, isn't it weird to have somebody that just goes to school and but but <clears throat> that accidentally got like a movie twisted and stabbed her friend to death? Like that's really twisted. Did you, did mum and dad not sense something was wrong there? Well, there's two girls who did it together. Even so crazier, just, they both the agreed for one. Yeah, and I think they like lured their friend out in the woods. It's the creepiest thing ever, but. Okay, you can say anybody who would do that sort of thing is crazy, but there seem to be even more objective indications that this girl is crazy. For example, I think she hears voices. So how does she go to a normal school when she hears voices? I don't know if they knew that she heard voices at the time. Oh, she... Anyway, she's going to be... They try, So she was 12 at the time. She's 15 now, and they oh. tried to argue that she's not going to do it again and she's pretty much okay and maybe there should be a, a pretty mellow sentence and instead what? they gave her the maximum which is uh, 40 years in a psychiatric hospital I think the other one the other girl was sentenced to 25 years in the psychiatric hospital that's a little misleading though because they are she's eligible for a reevaluation every six months so to my mind she might get out in a year or two I don't know if she if she was to... if she stops being crazy yeah, but that's a pretty far... But then again, if, I mean, I just feel like if you have voices and all that kind of stuff and you're capable of stabbing people, that I don't know much, but I think the, doc- the doctors that can give... They, they have pills that stop the voices, right? Isn't there things that can help people? They can take a I pill think, where they so. don't become a murderer anymore? I think so, but then... How, you don't, too, too much law and order. How do you... Right, but then it, do those people always keep taking their pills? Don't a lot that's of the other thing. Start... If they don't take the pills, then they're responsible again. That's right. Yeah. People feel crazy, and so they start taking the medication, but then they feel normal, and then they go, I don't want to be taking this medication anymore, so they get off of it. I don't know, you know, how would you feel if your if you're, uh, child, if your community had been affected by this? Would you want this person out on the streets? Fuck no. She did it. Fuck no. Right. Do you want to run into her at the quick check? Yeah. Fuck no. Right. No, but if you have a kid <coughs> and... Um, you know, you didn't know it, but they're hearing voices and they end up killing somebody. Mm-hmm. Of course, as a parent, you'd want them to, you know, get the help they need and then be able to be free because it was well. That's what's happening. Problem with their brain. If Michael's right and they get evaluated every six months, then if she did actually completely was cured, then she might get out. Right. But if she's just like space get in then she yeah. stays yeah. I definitely want I don't know how this works I'm not a doctor but if she seems to be acting totally normal on the medication I start giving her the placebos for a while and see if she still doesn't want to murder Whoa. people before I actually let her go free right um 855 41 final calls hello Adam hey how you guys doing <clears throat> hey related to your other uh, topic the there was a guy who Hell yeah. Nice. Sorry. But... Yeah, depending on the circumstances, that, that sounds right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there was one instance, right, where uh, the dad was waiting in the court. And yeah. as they led the guy in for sentencing or for a trial or something, yeah. he was, was like hiding in a, like a phone booth or something. Yeah. To just handle it. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Tamara. Hi, Alex. Hey. Yeah. I listened to Jude on demand for it, and I'm pretty sure John said that he had help. Mm. Uh-huh. How, why, why do you say that? Uh, because he said it under his breath while Jude was talking. We'll have to get that tape. Andrew, you're shaking your head. Son of a bitch. He tried to get me again. Twice now. 
Yeah, he's a cheat. Thanks, Samara. No problem. Uh, I can't... Is it Mark? You got the thing over the names, Andrew. Uh, is it Mark? Mark from Iowa? Yeah. What's up? Could be. It's funny how his call gets through and nobody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Not even another vote for anybody. Only Betty. Maybe he's the only guy that caught it. I don't know. I felt like Will won, but I thought she had the appropriate amount of mumbly. I think she did way better than the last time she did a song. Oh, Maybe yeah. that's what she counts. Uh, Shots and crafts. Hey guys. Hey. Right. Yeah. It's tough stuff out there. <clears throat> Thanks, dude. Mental. I, I knew a guy who uh, heard voices, and uh, he was on medication, and it basically just turned him into, you know, kind of a walking vegetable. Yeah, because I remember the first the antidepressant thing they tried to give me the first time. It like really slowed me down. I was like really worried about it, and I was like, I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm not going to do that. Right. I guess you got to. You know, you gotta call it on on certain things, whether it's worth it or not. But look, I had a friend. You know, he stabbed his dog to death, and and he just lost it. And I knew him when he was cool. Then and then it got so gnarly that he ended up taking pills where he put on a ton of weight and was slow as fuck. And but he wasn't stabbing the dog anymore, right. and that was just the end of it. That was the end of his life. Like I would still see him because his brother, his brother was my best friend. And I would still see him, and he'd be like, "Hi, right, Jace." You know, and he, I'm like, "Man," so that's just him now you know at one point he was like a like skinny street skater kid I don't know what he is now but well I guess the question with the slender man chick it, it just becomes ultimately do you want vengeance do you want retribution can you hold a 12 year old responsible for something they did even if it's the most heinous thing imaginable for the rest of their life like let's just say they put this chick on a pill and you had some sort of magic guarantee that she was going to be slow as fuck and she was going to put on the weight too but she was never ever ever going to do it again she posed no threat to the community whatsoever you had a guarantee mm -hmm. would you let her out or would you just keep her in the mental facility because she killed some you because what about the other bit where she did just take like a 12 year old's life away yeah, from yes. her no, right. what, what would you look the, the whole uh, point of the justice system is to not only rehabilitate people but to punish them so she needs the punishment part of that so yeah she should be put away for a while but if she's not going to hurt anybody she's rehabilitated so if we have that guarantee then eventually you know she should get yeah, out she's like 30 or something yeah yeah you got to ruin a little bit of her life for sure these are tough questions. Yeah. Have easy answers. JB, welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, got a spoiler alert for you. LL Cool J is coming out in chat doing the halftime show. That would be very funny. <laughs> just like Prince. Yeah. Uh, Justin, welcome to the show. He's kind of the prince of this. Hey, fellas. I just wanted to bring up a story. You guys are kind of talking about the same thing. About Victor Lee, I believe his name was, who beheaded a man on a Greyhound bus in 2008. And last year, it was outside of Winnipeg. Last year, he had a full, dis uh, full discharge. He was walking the street. So obviously, there was mental issues there as well. But it became a big debate. Like, I mean, I, I can't, you know, I'm terrified. If, if, I, if, I, if I was in near him, who knows if he's on his medication. But at the same time, if he's sick, I mean, do you lock him up for the rest of his life? Yeah. Yeah, cutting a guy's head off. Yeah, it's pretty bad, I would say. Uh, but yeah, if somebody's sick, said, sick, then <laughs> locking them up uh, doesn't seem right. we got to balance all these things out. Uh, like Tully said, there's no easy answer. I know, but when it gets to the point where you've done something so drastic, it's not, you know, I just, you know, a couple months or a year, and then you're out and, you know, make sure you take your pills, because that's the other thing. When you're out, you're not, you know, they're not, 
Don't try and tell me that some dude that chops someone's head off is going to around the clock assistance. People calling him with the with the right mental, like high level mental help. Like he's getting the cheapest shit money can buy. Like go see your counselor. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. Make sure you take your pill. Like I don't think he's somebody that does something so drastic needs to be twenty four. You know I mean? There needs to be a serious amount of surveillance before this guy is walking around by himself or putting that pill in his mouth every morning because I just, I just need more than that. Yeah. He cuts someone's head off. And if it's public stuff, it's the, the, the counselor or whoever is probably seeing like, you know, 70 people that day. Man, if I cut someone's head off, I vote that I stay in. I'd be like, don't let me out. Right. Well, also, I'm picturing a pretty particular mental image where you're in a place that, like, my uncle uh, passed away a couple of years ago, lived in, like, a veterans facility where, like, you know, it's kind of, like, nicer than a hospital, and you can, like, read books and watch TV, and you can have friends in there, and you can go out and walk on the grounds if you want to. Like, you're not actually in prison. Right. So if you are better, well, we're not putting you in lockdown. Right. What about if they just live in a right. permanent wipeout TV show? Where they just go through mazes and get knocked off stuff into the mud and we watch it. That's they might, another, pi- they might piss them off. I'll chop off more heads. Well, they can't chop off heads. They're stuck in fucking wipeout world. Luke, you know this sandwiches and hot dogs? They love that stuff. Wow. All right. That's a hot take. Jack, <laughs> welcome to the show. That's a butt. Jack. Jack! <laughs> Still laughing now, Jack? Yeah. Tim, what's up? Hey, uh, two things real quick. One, the uh, Slender Man uh, issue. I believe the girl actually wasn't killed. I think she actually lived. Oh! Yeah, she got stabbed like 19 times and somehow still And lived! Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, 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 because she, they, they didn't successfully stab her to death? That changes things for you? <laughs> yeah, but 19 times. Yeah, it, yeah, technically it's a different crime, but just by chance, it was a different crime. Right, would you feel much better, like, if I told you you live next door to a murderer? Okay, now how about if I tell you you live next door to an attempted murderer? <laughs> a serial stabber. Right. Yeah, and it wasn't like she yeah. had a plan and then it got fought. It was, no, she went through with it and he didn't die. Yeah. That's the... Yeah, and the girl had the help of Slenderman, so... Manny, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, first time, uh, first time getting in. I've been a listener for a while now. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Oh, well, that's two. That's it. She got twice as many votes. Kevin, you got second. (laughs) (laughs) Daryl, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, just so you know, Betsy didn't. But, uh, no, uh, about that 12-year-old girl, uh, just so you know, I don't think there's any cure, Betsy. I mean, you can't call any medicine or any pills to cure Betsy. Yeah, no, I agree. And and that's the problem with that, putting somebody back out on the street like that. Yeah, I... I agree, Daryl. I think until science has got better and they're like, no, this shit is like permanent, it's in the brain, it's lodged in there and he can't, doesn't have to take a pill, he's just fixed, then I think stay in there. I think they'll get to a point Thank where you, when people are super crazy and, you know, there's just no salvation for them, they'll just like put them in suspended animation and put them in like a, a VR world and then they can just stab everybody. No one gets hurt. You just right. stay here, you fucking Looney Tune. Yeah, and you just put them on a tube with yeah. taxpayers' money to spend... Yeah. What about... Can we just kill them? We can use their body heat for battery power. Yes. What about if we put a thing on... We let them Ma- free. Mark, wait. Will's really under something here. <laughs> <laughs> no, go, go, but go, go. what about if we put them... If, if, if we absolutely must set them free, what about if you just put them in this full body suit thing that anybody can yell like, Hey, Alexa, or hey, Siri, and make them stop moving? How about a bubble? Shouldn't every single citizen have the, the power to completely shut this person down if yes. they go haywire? Yes. Yeah. Who cares if that's abused a little bit? Yeah, no, if you're a child molester, from now on you have to wear a child molester suit. Smart genes. So if you get weird on kids, they can be like, no, turn yourself into a fucking helicopter and fly away. Yeah. And the suit goes... And and like, somebody, no! Somebody abuses that. And I wanted to molest that kid! Yeah, fuck you. Hey, Siri, punch that guy in the dick. Hey, Siri... 
that make that guy punch himself in the dick. <laughs> right. I'm going to work. Right. Hey Siri, force a split. And then the guy just <laughs> James Brown's split. Hey Siri, make open. that guy do a double backflip on a dirt bike. <laughs> ben, welcome to the show. I don't, I'm going with a stabber. Yeah, me too. Stab, hand-to-hand stabbing multiple times. You're fucking bonkers. Yeah, I, if you shoot somebody, that's one you thing. Live next to a guy that no, no, shoot. No, shoot. Yeah. I want to live next to the shooter. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, all right, we all agree. We're all very smart people on the JCL show. Whenever I've stabbed, it's always been personal and rage-oriented. Eric, welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, guys, happy Friday. Same to uh, you. magic pill solving all these things for the, the psychopath and then you get people that call in and say well nothing's gonna cure everything fucking listen no actually sometimes I agree with the point that you're that you're making but in this conversation I actually don't the guy the guy the, the, you're referring specifically to the one caller who said right if there was a magic pill that's a great conversation the problem is there will never be that magic pill that's that's a valid point there might be a magic pill I don't think there's going to be a magic pill could be a magic chip in your head maybe yeah, not exactly. a pill no, you like know the, but they have the um, uh, birth control thing that's like a little shot in the arm you take yeah. it like once a year or whatever yeah birth control is a magic pill that's how I got my son <laughs> 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 wow. Dustin, <laughs> welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Toronto. First time calling. Thanks for calling. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the, then um, there's that. The, the, the strongest of all the clinically insane people on the island we'll, remains... We'll call, we'll call it Australia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did that. Adam Carolla has a great movie pitch for a movie called Pettif Isle. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah. So they put all the pedophiles there, and then one day a Boy Scout troop crashes their plane there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to fight their way out? Go find his pitch for it. It's hilarious. Okay, Jack, welcome to the show. <laughs> Okay, well, you kind of got your own set of issues. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got to go. That sounds crazy. I'm pretty normal, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't let my sister out of his house. All right. Yeah, that's... All right. Yeah, Fair enough. I got to go. There's, there's, Look, there's, there's, a weapon there's what's right, and there's what you would do in any given situation. Just bait his ass. You bring a pistol in it, then the police have to come. You know? I don't know. Look, the law has to exist because if you look at societies who don't have those laws, they're not societies you'd want to live in. But General butt naked. But at the same time, sometimes you got to bend the rules. I, you won't hear you were sick, but I saw a special on General Butt Naked. He's alive, and he like travels around <laughs> talking to ch- churches. Some of you might have been known me as General Butt Naked, but not now I am know. not. No, he's got full clothes on, and he's just like, oh, yeah, sure, I used to drink baby's blood, but it's different now. Praise, praise, praise Jesus. But and I'm like, doing a TED talk. But he'll, he'll talk, <laughs> yeah. he talks like all African shit. Everyone says African shit, like, yeah, well, I'm a blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, man, what? they got to bring, he brings it up all the time. You think he's trying to <laughs> move past that? Welcome to the show, you're live, Matt. Yeah, yeah, or put him on, uh, what's that, pedophile? pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. <laughs> Cho, welcome to the show. Hey, you're talking about sending all these people, the fucked up people, to an island, away from everybody else. That's Australia. You do that, you get jaded. You're, maybe you're on a delay. We caught that joke. Yes. The soul of a thousand murderers. 
Jason Ellis. Keith. Wow, listen, just listen. Sweet. Right. That's right. so hot. That right. is an A&E show. Good in it? bed, right? <laughs> but, ha, what, what did she attempt to murder? She, uh... Well, the baby said it would change her baby's diaper while she was watching her, so she told her she was going to change it, or she was going to shoot her, and she said no, so she shot her. That Wait, sense. you're going out with a girl that shot another person for not changing a baby's diaper? Yep. Pretty yeah, good in must, bed, though, right? Yeah, she must suck your dick like a madman. <laughs> a madman. <laughs> you ever talk to her about it? All the time. She tells me about it all the time. She constantly talks to you about how she was going to murder that, that one girl. reminds me of the time I almost murdered a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> did, she, did she use it as a threat? Like, remember that one time I almost shot that bitch for not changing that diaper? Don't think I won't shoot you. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Well, he sounds like he's in hell. I, 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 uh, A&E, it's I married an attempted murderer, followed by I shot the babysitter. Stay safe, dude. Have a good weekend. Bye. All right. Everybody enjoy the, you know, whatever the fucking football thing. I'll see you on Monday. You sound like you got football fever, Jim. Yeah, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check this murder.